in with uh, the save data. All right, no, let's get regular new game. And we already adjust the thing. Yes, it's perfect. Saving. All right, let's start the show. This game uses an auto save feature. When the auto save is displayed, please not quit the game or turn off your Play S4. But you can manually save if you want to. Thank you for sporting Real Go Go to Studio. Here's a gift on us: the legendary first aid kit. Because about a DLC. Does it work in fiction? Name characters based on this place, events, and incidents are into the products or imagination of pictures matter. Any resemblance to actual person is blah 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 blah. Chapter one. Light and shadow. Okay, we see a theatrical stage. It's a it's no theater. Long have I waited for this day? Yeah, this guy is uh, dressed in uh, I know you can't makeup. have forgotten my face. Okay, so I pause with the, the option button and I press it again to resume and yeah, I must not press X or otherwise I'm going to skip the scene, but I don't want to. So basically for the sake of my uh, uh, non-seeing uh, audience, I'm going to explain what's going on. So it's, it's a no theater. There's a, an actor who's dressed kind of like a woman, but with white uh, foundation and red lipstick and makeup uh, fighting four guy dressed with swords like uh, samurai types or bandits in front of a packed uh, audience do not pretend otherwise Iaman was the name of the courtier you murdered in Suriga that man was my father you don't mean you're that girl from before girl dressed as a guy I'm not that girl anymore I am a vagrant on a quest for vengeance do you know how many times I've awoken in the night, having dreamt of drawing this dagger? Today, finally, my blade will have its due! Quiet! Men, have your way with her! They don't cheat their swords, and they fight. Yeah, the, the guy dressed like a girl fought them off, countered all of them and with a slash. You actually believe I would ever let myself be cut down by a mere woman? I will teach you your place. For I am none other than the fearsome Ginji the Slasher, the legendary terror of Edo! Knives at the ready, stand out. One slash! Who's falling first? Ah. Oh. Yeah, the samurai fall first, then the boy with the uh, dress like a girl on her knees, on its knees. You fool of a man. Genji the slasher is none other than I. Looks at the Did you see that? cardboard moon. Father. Then he faints. Yeah, the, the that guy is looking at the main character. He smiles at him. Confetti falls from the ceiling. It's not a yeah. Everybody is okay. Now it's a standing ovation, and there are ladies who are giving the main uh, actor um, necklaces made of dollar bills. Fade to black. Now back to the um, dressing room. Yeah, they're uh, packing up and removing the makeup. Yeah, one of the understudy puts the katana in one place. Main character removes his wig, wipes up his makeup on the top. You can see Masumi. Like yeah, Masumi. There's a woman. Looks like her, his mother or something. Did you finish cutting that confetti? No. Not yet. No, we see a pile of paper with scissors around next to him. We leave for Osaka in the morning. <laughs> Look at you. You got the audience to its feet and suddenly you think you're a star? This kind of money is nothing. So don't let it go to your head. 
She takes the necklace of money, but he stops her. You ungrateful little brat. Yanks it away. Don't you look at me like that. Angry face. I can't believe this is how you treat your mother. Can't believe your mother. Okay, she takes a knife, threatens him with it. Doesn't flinch. Make the next cut even deeper. And this time, not even your makeup will hide it. Yoko! Stop it! Yeah, the main villain. Don't you intervene. dare try to order me around, Toshio. Who do you think keeps this whole damn show running? <sighs> Drops the scissor next to the pile of paper meant for confetti. Shall we go to Motomachi tonight? She mm. takes the sure. necklace and wraps it around this guy. Who cares about all this? So yeah, she's uh, cheating on, on him with this weird guy and she doesn't even hide it. The guy looks ashamed, looks away. And the little boy keeps removing his makeup. Are you okay? Masumi. Now we can see on his right cheek there's actually the scar that she mentioned. Don't worry about the confetti. Let me give you a hand. I should have time to finish it in the truck tomorrow. I may never be an award-winning actor, but I've always been a masterful confetti cutter. Every actor needs a backup plan. <laughs> what do you say we hit the town tonight? See the sights of Yokohama. Just the two of us. Come on. Okay. So they're in Yokohama. Change of scene. Streets in the night. Lots of neons on both sides of the streets. Some people walk on both sides. They're in the uh, casual uh, dress wear. Both wearing pants and shirts. The, the older man wears a vest. So, Masumi. Did you say goodbye to all your friends in Yokohama? I don't have any friends. What's the point if you switch schools every month? Come on, don't be like that. You know, when I was your age, my parents wouldn't even let me go to school. They stop in front of a nice, expensive Chinese restaurant. A lot of duck hey, hang from the window. Why don't we treat ourselves today? Cooked duck. Right How about Peking duck? Yeah. The king of Chinese food. Ah, the duck is dried in the sun, then roasted, and the skin comes out so crispy and delicious, you'll love it. I want to try that someday. If it's the king of Chinese food, it must be expensive. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. Indulging ourselves for one night won't break the bank. The duck on uh, This is New Year's Eve, by the way. Uh, no, no, not this one. Well, I think it is. No, no, it's not. Sorry about it. It's, it's in the past. We don't know how many years ago. Loading screen. Loading screen. Now in front of the table, there's a lot of food on the table. Okay, so there's some pot stickers, some dim sum. There's a uh, deep fry shrimps in pasta and there's some sort of soup. I think it's bisque and there's a uh, ginger chicken stir fry. And uh, what's this? This salad. <coughs> Sorry about that. So yeah, everybody is having uh, pot stickers and um, uh, stir fry noodles with uh, chicken ginger. And uh, there's uh, the, 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 the shrimps, and there's a huge bottle of sake on one side of the table. Yeah, the, it's on the side of uh, the, the father. Yeah, the boy is drinking water, and he's enjoying oh, his dim sum. Masumi. You're going to get full if you keep eating those, you know. Remember, these appetizers are just the bit players. The main course has yet to take the Yeah, stage. leave some room for the picking duck. Yeah, I know. I'm going to the bathroom before the star gets here. So, he sees the waiter with um, 
the main course underneath uh, on the silver platter with a thing to cover it. So as you go to the bathroom, we see the Vader in front of the guy's table, removes it, and we see a gun! It's not even a duck. Shot from the kitchen. Okay, so we see people, like, there was lots, lots of noise in the kitchen, like, uh, people are cooking, and then there was a shotgun, but uh, the guy didn't hear it because of the kitchen noise. As you come back, the plate is empty, there's no duck, no gun, no waiter, only a dead body. The body of his father. Dad? Bullet in the face. Dad. Yep. <laughs> Straight in the forehead. Blood is dripping from the cheek. Guy is shocked. Traumatized. He... <laughs> Close up on the scar. Oh, now we see a flash forward into the present. The guy is older now. Pans out. Must be 30 or 40 years later. We are inside of an office, of a Yakuza office. There's a guy in the far back, he's counting money. Yeah, now it's now it's uh, 2000, December 31st. So this is New Year's Eve from 22 years ago. Here we are, the last day of the 20th century. Yeah, you recognize that voice, huh? Masumi Arakawa, patriarch of the Arakawa family, a Tojukan subsidiary. And all I can think about is what I want for lunch. He's um yeah, he's already, yeah, having a black leather glove I on his left hand. To do collections. So this guy is Joe Sawashiro, captain of the Arakawa family, Tojo clan subsidiary. On New Year's Eve? If there's money on the streets and there's work to be done. Yakuza don't get holidays Dropping the bills with uh, rubber bands. Life's a bitch. Then you die. Thousand, ten thousand yen bills. Stacks of a hundreds. So it's like one million. So outside, it's in broad daylight. There's a guy running away. And there's a guy in a red suit. I think this is us. I'm gonna have what? control soon. And get caught? Get fucked, you come stain! That guy looks like my cousin. Leave me alone. Red suit. Burgundy suit, yeah. Chase down the thug. Okay, this is me now. Chasing down thugs. Ah, the thrill of the chase. Navigate the city without bumping into obstacle by pressing the displayed input to catch up with your target. This gains the distance gauge tracks how far away the target needs to get before you lose them. Wait up! Oh, I had to do that. Okay, sorry. Leave me alone. Stop, oh, hey, I remember that guy. Take a fucking hand. Wait up. Leave me alone. Shit. I bump onto the 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 machine and then it froze. <laughs> Looks like I shook him off. No, you didn't. <laughs> Standing from the top, there's a VHS tapes falling on the ground. Ushio, pal, I know you're not an idiot. Why did you think you'd get away with hawking this? There's nothing illegal about selling animal fuck videos. What? Believe me, it's educational. That's zoo oh, porn. The problem is you were calling it uncensored porn and selling it to dumb, horny kids. Come on, Ichiban, do me a solid. Remember all the good times we had in middle school? And let's be real. It's not like this is hurting the Yakuza's bottom line. Actually, it is. Big time. Kids these days are entitled, man. They'll come bitching the Arakawa family about porn scammers on our turf. We can't have that kind of shit staining our good name. So come on, cough up the cash you squeeze out of them. Takes a big uh, brown envelope, fix it, get punched in the face while he was looking. He's got brass knuckle. 
This guy uh, gets up. His name is Ichiban. Did you forget who you're dealing with? Of course not. Just some Yakuza street trash who's got to learn when to quit. Yes, he's having brass knuckle on both hands. Guess I'll just have to kick your ass. Hirotaka Ushio. Okay. Choosing commands. During battle, you will select which action to take during, using the command menu in the bottom left corner of the screen. Select the attack command to attack with the weapon on hand. Give that a shot. Okay. Attack. X. Level 2. Cool. Okay, so opportune strike. If you select attack again before a fallen enemy gets back up, a regular attack will change to a powerful opportune strike. Opportune strike will dish out the pain, so take every chance you can get. Alright. Like this, 24 damage. Using items, the red gauge at the bottom right is your energy or HP health points. If Kasuga's HP reaches zero, it's game over. HP can be recovered by using items. Why not take this opportunity to take a bite of your onigiri now? Any flavor will do. Okay, so now I have guard and etc. etc. item. Okay, I'll have the salmon onigiri. Hot cool. Oh, defend. This is what I wanted to do. Select guard for Kazuga to defend himself until his next turn. This will decrease the damage you take and protect against both bleeding and stun. If you know the enemy's next attack will be a powerful one, it might be best if you put your guard up. Just a thought. Okay, so I'm gonna put the guard. That's it for the tutorial. Time to teach Ushio a lesson. Oh, and one last thing. If there's ever anything like a bicycle or street sign near an enemy, a normal attack would change it to a weapon attack, leading one to use, or in some cases, kick the nearby object to unleash some serious hurt. Okay. Four. Yushua was defeated. 500 gas, 3 for experience. I leveled up and rank up. 22 jogs experience, no items. 1500 yen. Oh, because I have 1000 again. Okay, okay. Level up, rank up. Okay, so what's my stat? HP rose by 13, MP rose by 11, attack rose by 6, defense rose by 5, magic rose by 4, ding rose by 4, agility rose by 4, dexterity rose by 4. Learn the job skill, tenacious fist. What's my job? Yakuza. Okay, I'm level. I'm a level two Yakuza now. Yay! I got one jump skills, and the rest is okay. 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 Interesting. It's like an RPG. All right, Ushio fell to the ground. Ichiban Kasuga of the Arakawa family, a Tojo clan subsidiary. Ichiban Aniki. You okay? Hey, big brother. Mitsuo Yasumura of the Arakawa family, Tojo clan subsidiary. Oh, hell yeah. Check this out, man. Only 50... Whoa, like 50,000 yen. Loaded. He was always coming up with crazy business schemes back in the day. Well, some of them must have worked. The cash you got there might hit our quota today all by itself. What are you talking about? We're gonna give this all back to those kids. Uh, after all the work we did to get it, man? Yeah, dude. Hold up. You want me to track down every single kid this guy shafted? For real? Yes, for real. What part of this is hard to understand? He <laughs> twists his uh, wrist and puts the envelope on his hand. I get it. Okay, I'm gonna give a little description of uh, this guy over there. So he's wearing an Hawaiian shirt with dragon motif on it, and he's having bleach uh, mullet cut uh, hair. It's like a bl weird blonde greenish hair. Like he's, he's definitely a punk. And Ichiban is a buzz cut, and uh, yeah, a, a gray shirt with a burgundy suit with the burgundy pants. Fuck. Yeah, look at this real quick. How bad is it? Oh, there's a smidge on his hair. With his brass knuckles. It's yeah, bleeding a bit. Yeah, you've got a good size lump there, dude. No, you idiot. I mean my hair. I just got it done. And it was looking real fresh, too. I can't believe 
this shit, stupid Ushio. Let me see if I can fix it. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. You just gotta, you know. Don't touch him. Jeez. I pay good money for this shit. Don't touch your hairdo. All right, fade to blacks. All right. Dude, this is from I another choked. corner. Yeah, he took a bunch of hits to the face. <laughs> You're always getting pummeled there. I think you like it. You calling me a masochist? <laughs> Hell yeah. You always let him get some punches in, even when you could wipe the floor with them. I know how you fight hard when you wanna. Yes, I do let him do that. Pretty masochist, if you ask me. Unless you're training to become a pro wrestler or something. Okay, fine. I guess I can see how it comes across that way. That ain't it. I'm just doing, you know, what a hero would do. Fighting stance? A hero? Sure. I pretend I'm a hero when I fight. So what? When it's time to throw down, my brain just starts thinking in Dragon Quest terms. Uh. Again with the Dragon Quest? What's so great about it? Everything. It's an epic and dangerous journey, and that's exactly how I see real life. Real life is an epic and dangerous journey. You do know you're a freaking Yakuza, right? If even one guy gets a lucky hit and it's all over for you, you realize that, dude? How many times has Captain Sawashiro told you that? I kill a guy over something as stupid as collections, that's when it's all over. So he doesn't want I to kill like needlessly. With Arakawa-san, the captain, and even your dumbass. I'm not gonna do anything to ruin that. Truth is, I never want to be at rock bottom again. Again? So, rock bottom was when you were cooped up in that Soapland office playing non-stop Dragon Quest? Uh huh? <laughs> Wouldn't be the man I am today without it. A cool guy, full of the bravery those games showed me. And what they didn't, Arakawa-san did. That's where you get all this hero crap, huh? <laughs> Maybe I should give this gamer shit a chance. Do it, man. But first, let's give that money back to the kids who got scammed. Oh. <laughs> right. So this is gonna take half a day. Guy's gonna eat. All right. Well, time to give those kids some refunds. Thanks. Hit me up at the Sig shop when you're done. Sure. Okay, so now I'm back in control. Oh no, there's hey, a Ichi. Obu guy. Old man Takeo. Oh. How the heck are you? Good. Good. Hey. Did you know Mama Michio the guy was squints his eyes. She wanted you to swing by. What's she need with me? No clue. I'm just the messenger. <sighs> What's she gotten herself into now? Okay, so am I in control now? Duty calls. Yeah, I think I am. Yeah, alright, now there's a mini map. Go to Michio's bar. Level 2, 14362. Okay. So. Okay, running is with X, and as, even if I let go of X, I still run. Okay, sorry, ma'am. Just learning the the controls. It's been so long since I played a Yakuza game. So there's a restaurant I can get into. Yeah, they're stuck in Japanese. Like, they only dubbed uh, the main character voices. So this looks like a noodle shop. Examine. Fuji Soba employee. Yeah, Shamase means welcome. Order recommendation, select from the menu, exit restaurant. No, I don't want to eat. I want to select from the menu, so what they have. Hot Soba, Chill Soba, Chill Tanuki Soba, Chill Kitsune Soba, Egg and Tempura, Special Fuji Soba with Agedama, Deep Fried Tofu, Onsen Egg, and Kamaboko. No idea what it is. Restore 125 HP and 100 MP. Uh, that's more than I have. Yuzu Chicken and Spinach Soba. Katsudon. Mmm. Cooked to order, so it's always hot and crispy. That's, um, that's a deep fried pork. 
Uh, curry and rice, curry with mild spice. Fujisoba's original curry roux is mixed with their famous soup. I see, I see. All right, I'm not gonna, my new set effect. Okay, I'm gonna come back later. So it says, ordering the combination will fully recover HPMP by ordering a mating combination, certain combination dishes from the menu. You can create combo meals that would give you bonus advantages in battle. All right, I'm gonna check that later. Okay, so L3 puts me into uh, first person perspective. Is there any way? No, there's no readjust the camera angle. There's a schoolgirl. Now I have to turn the camera with the thumb. There's no auto adjust. Also, there's Wild Jackson Buffalo Wings. Hmm. This. Bacchus, that's a bar. What's this? Do not cross, I cannot go there. Okay. I guess I can't. So, should I go around? Where do you want me to go? Across the restaurant, maybe? Yeah, there's another restaurant here. Looks like a grocery store. Oh, it's a convenience store. Kotobuki Drugs Employee. Oh, that's a pharmacy. Toughness ZZ. Toughness Infinity. Oh, those are expensive. I don't can't afford any of those. Toriner Plus Plus, Toriner Max, Stamina Royale, Stamina Spark, Mental Supplement. Cures all mental statements. Okay, so those are remedies. They're cheap. All purpose remedy. Yeah. First aid kit. Revive a fallen ally with half the HP. Okay. We have the first aid kit for HP. Okay, okay. Plant, stamina on spark, super nutrient instantly grows the plant, greatly boosts the harvest grains. Okay, so this is a fertilizer for plants. Scalp D, your probably medicin medicinal shampoo, improve your style. Okay. Twist fragrance, improve your style. This is something I can forge. There's some icons here. I don't know what it is. Cow attack zero. Popular liquid laundry detergent could be used as a material for weapon crafting or enhancing. Uh, okay, so this is uh, crafting equipment. I can afford this, but I don't access to a crafting table yet. So I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna save my money until I do. So what's this? L1. Okay, so that's what I said. Okay, that's what it shows. Mm, okay. So only pressing X once makes him dash as long as you hold the thumbstick. Okay. Can I go there? Yes, it's that way. Come roll through this looks like the bar district. Yeah, remember some of the The streets are the same even though the even though the the the, 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 the bars are different. Daka whiskey. There's a pub, the wild whiskey. This is a narrow alley. Season Kamurocho. The luck luck. Shellac! Oh, it's still open. Shellac is still open. This bar is as old as the Yakuza game. I remember Shellac. Is this still. Um... Yes, yeah, the same place. Same selection of uh, drinks. Let's see. Let's check the menu. Yeah, Yamazaki, 25 year old, 18 year old, 12 year old, the EXO Deluxe. This is cognac, right? Regal bottle, sharp scent, and unmistakable blend that tastes greatly caresses the heart. 
Oh, th those boosted th those boost the MP more than the HP. I could shoot 18 year old. I could shoot regular. This is uh, sake. La Froeg, 10 years old. Boost intense, Pete Smoky Tanginess. Valentine's 30 years old. Lord of the Blended, age, age 30 years. Unmatchable blend. This is a whiskey scotch. Macallan, 30 years. I, I tasted Macallan before. I tasted a glass of 20 year old Macallan. It cost me uh, $20. This one is 60. 6,000 yen, so it's $60 for 30 year old, so it's fair. The 25 Suntory Brandy VSOP. Pinnacle of Japanese brandy has an elegant, fruity fragrance and a buttery, smooth taste. And this is the Courvoisier XO, distinguished French cognac. Rich yet smooth flavor is the epitome of perfection. Suntory Old Whiskey. I saw that before. Yeah, it's a. Uh, like it's uh, the, the regular bottle of whiskey you expect to see, but I didn't see it at that price. This is only 600 yen. Maybe Japan is cheaper, but if you can uh, buy it in Canada, it's uh, five times that. And Carlsberg, regular piss ass beer. One of the world's most famous beer loved by approximately 140 countries. No, not love, distributed. Big difference, bro. A straightforward pilsner that matches well with western food. Yeah, um, no, no. I'm not gonna buy pilsner. I'm not gonna buy a Carlsberg. I'll come back later for more. I'm gonna take a little bit of everything. I'm gonna... Syntax error. GG, GJ, good job. Gravity... Rock and roll bar, gravity whiskey, yeah. Oh, there's a cigarette bar. I think that's what it is. Hey there, Ichi! You kept me waiting. Oh, that's a, just a small bar and this Haven't old lady you? is drunk. Oh well, yeah, it's New Year's Eve. Yeah, it's during the Wait, day. Please don't tell me you were just looking for a drinking buddy. What? You were the only guy I knew who wouldn't have anywhere else to be on New Year's. Serious? I'm out here busting my ass making collections. Oh, like it's two in the afternoon and you're already drinking? Big and important. At least I'm not drunk. Hey, I've been drinking since before you were a twinkle in your dad's eye. A twinkle in your dad's now eye. Look at me now. Still gorgeous. Nah, she's like over 50 years old and she faints it on the floor. She passes out. Help out or scold sternly. Oh, we're not gonna leave her there. Like we're we're a nice guy. Keep telling yourself that. Pick her up. Grab her to the bar. Tell the waiter she's done. Probably ain't so gorgeous. Kindness plus ten. And your only drink's gonna be when they wash her grave. Okay. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> I do appreciate it. Okay, so Kel's got personality. So I have passion, confidence, charisma, kindness, intellect, and style. Okay, so Kel's got personality may improve depending on his action. These traits represent Kel's as a person, and refining them will earn him a, flu a slew of perks and bonuses, such as unlocking new features or characters to talk to. Personality traits. The following are the six traits of Kastiga's personality. Passion, confidence, charisma, kindness, intellect, and style. Try out all different kinds of activities to make Kastiga the very best man he can be. Save, it's the wise thing to do. Yes, save. The game telling me... Oh, the old man. Why'd you do me like that? Michio was just drunk off her ass. You're surprised? I haven't seen her sober in 20 years. Her and this town are just going to hell. Yeah. Heck, there's some trouble at Shangri-La right now. Oh, not Shangri-La. What happened? Did somebody run over with a truck but again? You know how soap lands are. Yeah, maybe a customer got uppity with one of the girls. You ought to go check. Damn it. Uppity with one of the girls. 
Not on my watch, buddy. Sorry, ma'am. Oh, it's just like, yes, yeah, yeah Shangri-La is never too far from the bar district. Agent. Perfect timing. We've got a huge problem. Yeah, what is it, What's sir? Wrong? The toilet's all clogged up and we can't find a plunger anywhere. What? Uh, a plunger? Yeah, that thing you use when there's shit stuck in the pipes. Yeah, I know what it is, but come on. We're Yakuza, not your handyman. Well, excuse me. Princess. it wasn't me who cleaned you up every time you shit yourself. I was a baby. Oh, you had accidents until fifth grade. Oh. One time. One and time. My stomach was killing me that day. Guess I should get the damn plunger. Maybe the old lady at the smoke shop's got one. Okay, go to the cigarette shop. If there's none, you can always go to Donkey Shi. They sell everything there. Oh. Hooligan boss. Come on, you gotta pay your taxes. <laughs> Timid man in glasses. What tax? New Year's Eve tax, buddy. I mean, cigs and beers have a luxury tax on them, don't they? <laughs> so good times on New Year's cost a little extra, too. Why would I pay that to you, then? Just get out your goddamn wallet. That's the lamest shit I've ever heard. Yo. Get out of here, you little punks. Huh? Who the hell are you? I was just cruising by. It's New Year's. Can't you just let people chill tonight? Sorry, but we're open for business on the holidays. Uh, so if you want to mess with our business, we'll just have to bust up yours. <coughs> Ooh, pretty scary. But low lives like you give Kamurocho a bad name, and I'm not about to stand for that. <laughs> Grr, get off your fucking high horse. Fuck it, let's kill this guy. Menacing men. Oh, one of them's got a knife. Oh, I got a special skill, yeah. Select skill to unleash your special attacks. There are three types of skill. Attack, recovery, and support. On screen, prompt may appear during attack skills, which offer opportunities to deal extra damage by pressing square repeatedly or pressing triangle at the right time. Skill costs MP mental points to activate. And your current MP can be seen as you're engaged to the bottom right. Keep an eye on it. Okay, so triangle is tenacious fist. Gundam style. So this is attack, recovery, support. And this is all. Uh, okay, so the guy with the knife first. Oh no, this guy is gonna attack next. No, the guy with the knife first. Okay, winding up the punch. This guy's stunned. Cool. Ah, oh, perfect guard. This is what I needed need to learn from. Press circle in time with the enemy's attack to perform a perfect guard and decrease damage taken. You can perform a perfect guard anytime because the guy is standing. Much like the guard command, a perfect guard will also defend against the bleeding and stun status effect. So strive for perfection. Okay, so I'm gonna use my skill again. Uh, yeah, this guy's gonna act next. So let's see. I'm winning my punch, winding my punch. Boom! This guy's dead. Okay, this guy's stunned. Um. Yeah, finish his fist on the other guy. Yep. Boom! Knock in one punch. Okay, that guy snapped out of it. Okay. Just rick it. Oh, still on the skills? Okay. Boom. Really gonna defeat it. Okay, so I got one multiplier on the job in the ranks. So maybe I have some stuff I can boost that multiplier. Interesting. Save is the wise thing to do. Damn it, you're dead next time I see you.
Thank you. <laughs> no sweat, buddy. But for real, Camarocho's more dangerous than usual on New Year's. Everyone's drunk and waving their cash around. It's easy pickings out there tonight, so be careful, okay? Hi. I will. Thank you very much. I guess I better get that damn plunger from the lady at the cigarette shop. Cigarette lady, I'm smoking a cigarette already. If you have one, could you run into Shangri-La? Just buy one for them. They raised you for crying out loud. A man your age should be sending money to his family anyway. <laughs> you think I can afford that? I'm barely scraping by as is. Well, then you need to leave that sorry Arakawa family and join a family with some real push, kid. Sure. You'd be there gopher for a while, but that'd still be better than how you're living now, right? You're an idiot. I swore an oath to Arakawa-san, and I never abandoned him. <laughs> Aren't you an obedient little dog? Hey, I heard something real cute about you. You're babysitting Arakawa's kid? Ha! Itchy the nanny! Hey, look, the young master's the same age as me. He's not a kid. Young master? What is this, the 18th century? Yes. Besides, I'm not babysitting him. I'm his caretaker. He's been in a wheelchair since he was a toddler, you know? Yeah. Oh, so he needs a big, strong Yakuza at his side every time he wants some fresh air? <sighs> Arakawa's going soft in his old age. Surprise, surprise. Hey, try saying one more word about Arakawa and see what happens. Yeah. Hey, Aniki. Ah, oh, here's a guy. Yo, did you give those high schoolers their money back? Yup. Never seen kids happier to see a Yakuza before. It all worked out. See, they ain't so bad. Yeah. See, there's no reason to be happy about it. If we don't score big on our next job, the captain's going to kill us. Yeah. You know that. What is our next job, anyway? It's a shakedown. Our mark borrowed 500k from a loan shark and hasn't paid back a single yen. And apparently, he's immune to Yakuza threats. Oh. But we thought we'd give it a shot, so we bought the loan. Well, let's go, man. The dignity of the Arakawa family is riding on us. <laughs> I hope that's not true. Hey, by the way, Captain Sawashiro said to pull out all the stops to get this money back. Yeah. So we might have to rough him up. All right, so where is this clown now? I hear he hangs out around Public Park 3 a lot. I'll go on ahead and scope it out. Meet me over there, okay? All right. Time to head to Public Park 3. Okay. Over there? Yeah, it's over there. It's right around the corner. Oh, Haniki. Is our guy here? Sure is. Look over there. Okay. There's a construction worker smoking a cigarette on the bar That's bench part. Tsuka. That dude, huh? Do you know him? Forget it. Let's go. Hey there, Hiratsuka san. Enjoying a little break, are we? Having a smoke while you're mooch your ass still owes a ton of money? Oh, you think we won't beat you to a pulp? That other family went easy on you, but we won't. The Arakawa family doesn't fuck around. If you don't want to get hurt, get out your wallet. He stands up, he's very big and very tall. Hey, you think I won't do it? I can't pay back what I can't pay back. That's all there is to it. I see you're still just coasting on your size, oh great Hiratsuka. How'd you know that nickname? Who the hell are you? Ah, oh, don't you remember, pal? We used to wrestle when we were kids. You thought it was so cool to powerbomb other kids. As long as you were the only one big enough to do it. Oh, I remember. You're Soapy Ichi. 
And if this guy's your pal, that must mean... <laughs> you ended up in the Yakuza. Shocker. And I heard you joined the JSDF, only to flunk out and come crawling back here. Oh, the like self-defense force. Yeah, it is. So deal with it somewhere else. You went else. to the army and failed. You can do, pal. We gotta deal with it right here. Because <clears throat> we're Yakuza. See, Yakuza orders are mandatory. And my orders are to get your wallet. So hand it over. I told you. I don't have any money. It's okay, we just want your wallet. Make this easy. All I need is your wallet. I don't want to get rough with you. You understand, right? <laughs> you saying that even a grown-ass man is scared of my power bomb? Yeah, I'm saying I don't want to see the strongest guy in middle school tap out. Be a shame if that was your peak. Huh. Sounds like Soapy Ichi needs to taste the dirt again. You want it so bad? Try and take it. Here we go. Tag match, Aniki. Not this time. You be the referee. I want him all to myself. Huh? Uh, quit jabbering and let's do this. Come on! Oh, he... Koji Iratsuka is holding um, wooden mallet. It's level 2. Okay, I, I can press L1 to run away if I want. Do I want to run away? Of course not. Tenacious fist! Wind the punch! Poof! Half his life! Oh! That was hard. I thought I, I got it. Uh, I, I thought I got the guard nailed out. Maybe I pressed too early. Poof! That level, yeah, level three. Still rank two. Let's get the stats going up. <laughs> All right, so HP and uh, Okay, so no. Um, okay, I'm level three. No job skills. I'm full life now. So he's on the ground. Two punch. That guy took two punch. You're still pretty strong. <sighs> but not strong enough. Say goodbye to your wallet. Please, beat me up if that's what your boss wants. But don't take my money! Oh, he's loaded. Well, looky here. He did have the cash. This fucking lowlife had no intention of paying it back. Hey, wait, what are you doing? He's emptying the I'm wallet getting... on the ground. What? Just getting all the junk out of his wallet first, man. Looks more like money 70... to me. Yeah, 70,000 yen right, on the floor. Son. Like I said, I only wanted your wallet. Huh? Oh, okay. Okay, let's go, Mitsu. Hey, Hariki! Yeah, Mitsu is confused. What's up with you? Why did you take the money? Hiratsuka won't screw us. He'll pay it off. We just give him time. How you figure that? You think he's out here working his ass off, doing construction on New Year's Eve just for fun? Didn't you notice what he was smoking? It was just a nub, man. He obviously just picked it up off the ground. Yeah, it was not Why a real cigarette. It was a cigarette so butt. Cash? Because it's New Year's. The bonus. We wanted to buy his mom a nice meal, so we got some cash out of the bank, you know? That doesn't mean it's okay to be late on his payments. Look, you know that old candy shop just past Showa Street? Uh, yeah, it closed last year, right? What about it? Oh. Hiratsuka's mom ran that shop. Really? She closed it because she got sick. Real sick. I went to see her in the hospital, and she was thin as a rail. But even so, she was happy, because her son was back in Kamaracho, taking care of her. So, that money Hiratsuka borrowed was... It was all for her hospital bills. <laughs> oh. But, dude, if we go back empty-handed, Captain Sawashiro's gonna kill us! We're not going back empty-handed. We were asked to snatch the dude's wallet. 
And look, that's exactly what we snatched. Oh, that's not gonna fly with him. The captain meant. He's gonna kick your ass still. Hey, speak of the devil. For real? Hello, this is Ichiban. You're slow. I told you to pick up within two rings. Sorry, Captain. Don't tell me you're still out there doing collections. Just finish up the last one, sir. I'm about to head back to the office. That'd be great. Except right now you should be with the young master. Oh, um, yeah. Sorry. I'll be there as fast as I can. What good is that? He still has to wait for you. Why are you always slow as shit? I'm sorry, sir. Just move your ass. And don't take him anywhere dumb or dangerous. If anything happens to him under your watch, I'd have to kill you a thousand times. Yes, I know that, sir. So you gotta go play chaperone to the young master? Yeah, it's a lady. I can't believe I forgot. Me too. The time. Take this back to the office for me. Oh, no. I'm not gonna be the one to hand this in to the captain. You just let me know when the young master lets you off your leash. I'll kill time until then. Sorry about that, I was uh, dozing off. Game Center Atlantis. So I cannot cross that street, so I guess I gotta go there. Is that a taxi? Yes, a taxi. Get in, I need to get to the Young Master's apartment complex. Young Master's apartment. Outside of town. So now it's night time. He's running as hell. Where is he? Hey, miss! Where's the young mess? I, I mean, have you seen Masato Arakawa? I'm very sorry, but I haven't seen him today, sir. Oh, damn it. Uh, the elevator door opens, and there's a guy in a wheelchair that comes out. He's wearing... Okay, so he's wearing a, a black suit with stripes, chain necklace. He looks kind of cute. He's wearing uh, pierced uh, earrings on his ears, uh, a little goatee. He looks like... Looks like the Johnny Depp slash Sean Penn slash Depeche Mode singer kind of look. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Yeah, he's having a striped gangster uh, suit as well. Anything else you want to announce? And a silk uh, shirt. Masato Arakawa, son of uh, the patriarch of the Arakawa family. A Tojo clan subsidiary. He's looking at something. Oh, children. Or civilians. Sorry. He ends up a... Uh, man purse and then Ichiban push him outside did you forget what day it is uh, of course not it's Yumino san's birthday right did you bought a gift you without a gift did you oh no, fuck. I bought something it's just, I didn't have much, so it's not the greatest. <laughs> Whatever. As long as you didn't tell Dad about this, you didn't. Did you? Of course not. If he asks where we went, just tell him we went shopping. Yes, sir. The old fool. He still treats me like a child. He's just worried about you. You mean a lot to him. Don't talk like you know me. <laughs> Sorry. And now we're out. We're outside. Am I gonna go? Am I gonna, am I gonna control him? No, but no, we're not really in Camarocho. We're outside of it. Now we're standing in front of a club. Club Gentle. There's some stairs. 
Oh, Club Zephyr. Okay, so that's not where we're going. So it's like they're panning all the clubs. Entertainment. Again. Green Rose. You okay, young master? Yeah, he's just coughing. I'm fine. We're almost there. Bar my soul. Wait, don't go in yet. Duck in here for a sec. There's uh, a, some sort of alleyway. Um, okay. Next to a distributing machine. Yeah, it's it's well lit, but it's still a shitty alleyway. He hands him the man purse. Unzip it and it seems to take something. Looks like some sort of needle. Yeah, with some green shit. Whoa, what the hell? What is that? The latest and greatest ephedrine injector. Ephedrine? I had it imported. Wait, wait, is that for uh, muscles? It's a specialized performance enhancer. It stimulates the sympathetic nervous system, so even someone with my condition will be able to stand and walk just like anybody else. The effect will be immediate, but it won't last more than a few hours. But how? How did you get something like that? Today is my woman's birthday. So you want to impress her by I saying, oh, I can walk? By going in there like this. Aww. That sounds crazy, though. Don't you think it's kind of risky? No. It just hasn't been approved for use in Japan. That's all. You unbutton his here. shirt. Points at his heart. <laughs> None of this sounds good to me, young master. We don't really know what else it might do to you. You're a fucking wuss. So he's looking at it and he's gonna inject himself with it. He's about to stab himself with it. Yeah. He stabs himself with it. One prick. Didn't push the master? button. Young master? Your master! The size of his eyes are yellow and red. So now he's trying to stand up. And he does. Let's go. So we're gonna leave the wheelchair here. Young master. Okay, so they leave the alleyway. Input display during an attack skill. Press the. So I didn't read that. So we're inside of a hostess club. Welcome. The staff is greeting us. And they're surprised to see that. We're actually walking. We must be a regular since they seem to know us. Reserve table, a table made of marble. The guy removes a reserve and we're going in. This is a VIP thing. Then there's two hostesses coming in with presents. Good evening, Masato-san. Oh my goodness, are you all better? I can't believe it. They're waiting for one more. Hey, where's Yumino-san? Um, we'll call her as soon as we can. As soon as you can? You better mean now. Well, you see, she just sat down with another customer. She's been very busy today because it's her birthday. Hey! I just need a minute with him to explain our situation. Don't worry, I'll be nice. Bows to the ladies. The guy acquiesce, but seems to pondering something else. The guy's gotta eat, indulging food, drinking a restaurant on the not really stored health, but also didn't read that. If something wrong, sir? Hey. Yeah, where's you, middle son? Hi. Yumino-san is at that table over... Uh, oops. Uh, she must have left. I believe she got requested by yet another guest. We're rather busy today, Kazuka-san. Hmm? 
Hmm. Is Masato-san really healed? Uh, it's complicated. Wow, does that mean you'll be released from indentured servitude? No. Dumbass! I'm not some kind of slave. This is an important job. But isn't Masato-san a civilian? So what would he need a Yakuza like you following him around? <sighs> no one asked you. Now where is Yumino-san? Mm, sorry, but you'd probably find her faster if you look for her yourself. Yo. Is that how you treat your best customers? You know how many bottles we bought last week on Christmas? Uh, technically, Masato-san ordered them, not you, right? <clears throat> oh, give me a break. Fine. I'll go look myself. Bows. Alright, Yumino. I don't even know how she looks like. How am I supposed to find her? Are you Yumino? You're not Yumino. Are you Yumino? Let me look. If I was a high class hostess, how would I look like? Let... No, you're not. Do you too old? Oh, oh, that must be her. I bet this is her. She has a nice dress. She's good looking, nice brown hair. And there's cutscene. Oh, I'm my first mark. Sorry it's so busy today. Nothing to be sorry about. If you didn't have customers on your birthday, I'd have to assume everyone else here was blind. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Mm, well, um, how should I put this? I'm the young lady's escort for tonight. <laughs> Ichan, what are you doing? I believe this club is first come, first served. No need to make things complicated. Let's just say we came first and leave it at that. You understand. Unhand me! <laughs> yeah, make him the unhand move. Yeah, he doesn't want to negotiate. What the hell is this? I'd ask you the same. You're the one being unreasonable. What? I, I have reasons, so shut up! This is ludicrous. Ludo, what? You want to see ludicrous? Words. Those are no. You said you'd be civil. You're causing a scene, you moron. Sorry. Please. That must have to stand up. He's usually better behaved. I find that hard to believe. This place doesn't really do the first come, first serve thing. You see, in this industry, they can't treat every customer equally. The guys who spend big get better service. It's supply and demand, that's all. <laughs> that's so. Besides, that's my girl. I see. I knew you'd understand. Since I've disturbed you, would you let me buy you a drink? Yeah, your best, uh, dr your best bottle. Like anything you'd like. And don't worry about the price. Oh. No, thank you. I don't need a drink. <laughs> At the drinking time. Well, then you'll be needing this to try your luck with another one. Ending up some money. Yeah, it's a stack with a special rubber band on it. He pushes it away. He's not interested in money either. I couldn't accept that. Please, I insist. Why insult me by refusing? How no, about... thank you. My position requires me to exercise some level of discretion when accepting gifts. Your position? Where do you get off acting so high and mighty? Uh, business card, please, sir. Who are you? You've got guts. I'll give you that. What's your name? Yeah, the businessman gonna take out this business card and then we're gonna real I suppose you won't stop bothering me until I show you yeah Juro Eroinichi senior commissioner Tokyo Police Department oops that's the commission <laughs> senior unfortunately I also have to be discreet about who receives my business card yeah wow are you even allowed out this late 
at a place like this? <laughs> no law against it. Now, why don't you take the lovely lady back to your seat already? Oh, he's gonna leave it. Oh, okay. So, what was that move about? Cheers. Okay, so now we're back at our table. Happy birthday, Yumino-san! Such fancy drinks, Yumino-san. You spoil us. Thank you. Hey, aren't you thanking the wrong person? He's right. You two should thank the man who bought them. We're very grateful, Masato-san. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. I mean, it is the most expensive bottle in the house. It is. Only natural they'd forget themselves a bit. How often do they get drinks like that after all? Young master, I'm sorry about all that earlier. That guy thinks he's too good to accept my generosity? Not like he can afford to as a cop. Does he come here often? No, this was his first time. So, Yumino-san, what did he get you for your birthday? Oh, stop. Just the fact that he's here is enough for me. Really. She looks at him, oh, Masato looks at back so at her, cute. like, mm, mm, mm. I'm jealous. I want a boyfriend like Masato san. Eiji, show her yours first. Oh. Uh, sure. I, I'm not really used to this kind of thing, though, so. What did you get for her? Just do it. All right, she was standing up. I know it's not much. Offers her a little box. She opens it. Is that an anchor chief? What is that? With a floral pattern. Uh, I had a lot of trouble figuring out what to get you. And you're the young master's woman. I mean, his girlfriend. So that's even harder. But this was the most expensive one they had. I promise. <laughs> the other girl is laughing. I don't know why. Oh, fuck. Huh? Hey, come on. <laughs> the name Ichiban means the best. But I guess there's no accounting for taste. Yeah, Ichiban means number one. We should start calling him Ichiban. Am I right? No. <laughs> That's what... That does that. His name is not he's Ichiban so Crane. Clever. Ichiban, <laughs> Ichiban. Ichiban Crane. Yeah. Yeah, he's shake his head. He's embarrassed. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? All right, so he brings a, bo a black box tied with a little bow. This looks like some piece, piece of jewelry. It's a diamond watch. Like, everything is made out of diamond. Oh, wow. Oh. No way. Uh, is this... Even the straps is made of diamond. That's my girl. I knew you'd appreciate its worth. And it's wow. working too. How much was it? About the price of a condo. What? A high end one. <gasps> Not just some dump. Of what course. the fuck? <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how I could ever repay you. In your lifetime, you couldn't. <laughs> don't worry about it. I guess my next gift will have to be an actual condominium. For us. Oh. Yubino-san, can I have you at the front for a moment? Ah. Uh, really? Can't you read a room, kid? Ichi, don't start another fight. It's the lady's birthday. Let her go. She's just in high demand. Right. So she stay standing up and leaves? She leaves the, the gifts me. behind, I'll but... Be right back. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's she's okay. gonna give back for the for the presents. Hey, don't leave that watch laying around. Fuck me. He's so nice. Well, back to drinking. You have a captive audience for all your bullshit stories. <laughs> I don't want to just talk. Let's do something more intimate. What? No. Well, we'd have to ask you, Mino. Yes. <laughs> She'd kill us for sure. But I'd still enjoy being your girl while I could. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't mind the fooling around. This is a restroom. It's 
So I Ichiban is doing the yeah, he's sitting on the toilet. I had one too many. Some wingman I am. Oh yeah, it's left over. Wait, please. Wait, that's Yumino. What's she doing here? I don't even want to breathe the same air as that punk. Who the hell is he? Masato-san? He's well, he's the son of a civilian Yakuza. son of a Yakuza. How do you stand the man? Well, of course, to you, he's not a man. He's a big walking wallet. Stop! This is serious. It's starting to freak me out how much he spends and drinks. Just now, he gave me something super expensive and said next time it'll be a condo. So, you can turn around and sell his trinkets the next day. And if he found out, what do you think he'd do to me? <laughs> Are you talking about violence? <laughs> At the first hint of that, I'll throw the bastard behind bars. Is she too timing her, or was it yes, wasn't serious? I know you would, and you're right. I should sell it tomorrow. Oh fuck! <laughs> I didn't think there were still idiots walking around believing money can buy them love. <laughs> All that matters is you're not one of them. Now get back out there. And squeeze so the was she his girlfriend <laughs> okay. all this time, and she was milking Masato for money, and didn't say anything? Yeah, Ichiban looks angry. Like she over he overheard that conversation. Okay, so now he's gonna stand up and wash his hands. Wiping his hands. And they just realized Masato was here the whole time. Master, how long have you been there? He knows. Oh, he has a face of someone who's been heartbroken. Oh, young Master? Yeah, he doesn't so, feel good. Did you finish your business? Oh, maybe it's the effect of the drug that's wearing off. Yeah, he's giving him the, the man purse. There's uh, stacks of bills on the that. floor. Use this to pay the bill. If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass. He's looking at the bun at the money. There's like Four hundred thousand yen on the floor. So you can uh, say manually from the pause menu at the same safe point you found inside safe room in certain areas of the city. Okay, got it. So now back in Camarocho, this is the gate, the well-known gate. Aniki, are you done babysitting the young master? Yep. Let's meet up at Cedar Square and walk to the office. Mm. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to. Uh, you need to collect. Time to bring uh, your your earnings. Meet Mitsu. All right. So this is the night. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is Stardust. That change. I cannot get in Stardust though. Oh, it's so. Sad. I remember. This, that means Popo's nearby. Yeah, here's Popo. Hello, Popo. And I can g actually get into Popo. Hey! That's taking me back. Hello. Popo employee. Alright, what do we, we have? A Yokan. A small snack. Seaweed. Oh, that, that I can afford. Uh, tuna and egg sandwich, chicken karage. Oh, that's fried chicken. Luxury yakiniku bento. 1200, 300 HP. Yikes. Pine candy. What? Pine candy? Oragamachi natto. Oh, no, 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 no. Da, that sticks. That sticks. CC lemon. That's a real thing. Bottle of sake. 1000 yen. That's a real thing. Toughness light. Toriner, stamina on X, burn ointments, medicine that suits burn. Cold medicine, stops cold symptoms. Paralytics poultice, re relieves paralyzed muscle. 
Chinese detoxers cleanses your body of poison. Astringent gas, medicine that soothes bleeding. All right, I think I'll go. Uh, I think I'll take this one. I'll take one. Uh, turmeric tablets oh, sober up from being drunk. Oh, really? Turmeric sobers you up? I didn't know that. I know they were like one of those famous anti-cancer superfood, but it's a spice. Oh, and that's it. Okay, so what else can I? Can I get the Storner? Turner light. Toughness light. I'm gonna get two of them. Yeah, I can only buy two of them. 640 CC lemon just for the Okay, 160. Uh, yeah, seaweed. All right, I got 30 yen. And remember, always shop popo. -po. Yeah, always shop popo. -po. There's the ADM. So this is the M store, right? Oh no, that's the chicken shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let me check. Akaoshimaru. Akaoshimaru. Let's check the menu. Oh, beef bowl. Yeah, it's a beef bowl shop. Can have beer. Draft beer on the pint. Uh, standard draft beer. Pears beer, great with meat and more beer. Miso soup. Yeah, beef bowl. Mmm. I don't have enough. I don't have. I don't have enough for miso soup. All right. Man, thank you for bringing me back. Man, uh, where am I going? That way. Theater Square. So over there, right? Then I take a left. Kamuro Theater. That's a movie theater, right? Yeah, there's like there's a movie poster. What's his name? Dust. Dust Illusion. Nice movie. Oh, the Club Sega. I remember the Club Sega, but I don't have any money for um, for for toy. Oh, here's Mitsu over there. You see Mitsu? Oh, Tokyo Popuri. What's this? Oh, the bowling alley. Oh, I remember that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the money laundering uh, agency that we broke uh, Sky Finance or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Club Sega. There are so many Club Sega. Oh. Yep. I was waiting for you, Aliki. Let's get back to the office. Go back. Yeah, let's. So here's Joe, the captain. What happened with that porn peddler? Sir, Aniki took care of him today. He won't ever pull that shit again without going through us first. Okay. And how much did you get from him? Uh, about that, uh... I gave the money back to the high schoolers who bought the videos. It was the fair thing to do, and the kids were grateful to our family. I see. And that debt we bought? Oh, yeah. Went off without a hitch. Here's the guy's wallet. Just as you requested, sir. Yeah, Mitsu is looking at the wallet. Is like, oh, no, I don't like the sound of this. Joe takes it up. And finds money inside. But there's a sticker uh, on the it. money's there. Including interest. Uh -huh. Yeah. There are, are, this is one of those stickers from... Uh, Masato's bank. Wow. Wait, That's Masato's uh, first thing. Is that what you thought I would say? Yeah, I get punched. Punch both of them. This Matsu's bill on the strap is from the young master's bank. Yeah, the bill strap. Ichi, what's the real story? There, there is no real story. The young master gave that to me. I swear. You think he stole from the Masato? He gave it to you. 
Joel is lighting up a cigarette. Or did you beg him for it to make quota? Begging for scraps won't fix your incompetence. I didn't beg. I have too much pride to pull something like that. Flicks a cigarette at him. He's pissed. You have pride when you can't earn for the family. What's that look? Pretending it didn't hurt. You don't even know pain. Grabs him by the neck. Not yakuza anyway. A yakuza takes real responsibility. Hey, bring me the knife. Oh, they're gonna do it. They're gonna cut his pinky. When a yakuza fucks up, it is the custom that he's gonna pay with flesh. So yeah, cut your finger. Do it. So there's a knife on the table. So yakuza. What's wrong? Ishiban. You don't know how real yakuza atone. Fine, I'll show you. Put his hand on the chopping block. The knife is near. And just he's gonna have to slide it down. and slack. Slip right between the joints for a clean cut. If you're lucky. Between the joints, that's where it hurts less. It's about the knife is closed. The blade is touching the skin. Then Good to see you, boss. the boss comes in. Welcome back, boss. Welcome back, sir. With his uh, fedora and Ichi. trench coat. Walk with me. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, sir. His face is bruised with the slap and the punch. A bit reddish. A little blemishes on the burst. Oh, there. This is inside his office. Boss, you saved my ass back there. Did he though? Can't you at least try to get along with Joe? I don't know. He hates my guts. Just because, well, I'm not much of an earner. But you're giving all the money try back. You're doing the right thing. His shoes. He's doing his duty as a family treasure. Yeah. Sure. I listen know that, to uh, George Takei. Like have different <laughs> visions of what a yakuza should be. You know? Yeah. To me, it's more about duty and standing up for people, not money. Mm. And it's okay to see things differently. That's the strength of the Arakawa party. Mm. Sorry, party? Yeah, like in Dragon Quest. It's not so different than those games you like. Is yeah, it? The, the, the... Everyone has a certain skill they bring to the table. Using Some the analogy like of you, Dragon Quest, the RPG. first without a thought. Others cover your ass like Mitsu. And some are better at cracking the whip. That's Joe. All of these people keep the organization running. Yeah. Mature support. The Here's a barbarian. Mom. The king? <laughs> to me, all of you are more like sons than subjects. Mm. <laughs> Speaking of, you looked after Masato today, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Sorry to keep asking you to help me with something so personal. How was he? Fine. That's good to hear. These days, he doesn't even answer my call. Oh, yeah. I may be king of the Arakawa family, but to my other family, it's nothing but a title. <laughs> well, Ichiban, why don't we go get our last meal of the 20th century? Because after that, it's yeah, 2001, sure. it's officially the 21st century. So, yeah. December 12th, no, December 30th, no, December 31st. Of 2000 is officially the last day of the millennia. Did you see that? I guess nobody cares about PDA on New Year's. That reminds me. You find yourself a girl yet? Oh, no, also doesn't count. Like a reverse chick magnet. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Easy for you to say. You probably had girls all over you at my age. Oh no. I won't abide such slander. No, oh, I you use the past tense. Growing silver has only made me a bigger hit with the ladies. Yeah, so a fox. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of all the women over the years, 
There was only one. Masato's mother, eh? Just one I might have started a family with. Yeah? Yes. Masato's mother. Yeah. Oh, I've never told you the details, have I? No. No, sir. I, uh, I do know that she passed away. And that's it. Yes. Let me start on New Year's Eve, 24 years 24 ago. years ago. I was just a grunt in the Hikawa family. But the patriarch the asked me if I'd marry his daughter. She was the young master's mother? Just listen. I love someone else. Her name was Akane. Oh, Akane. What did... I was naive. <laughs> I thought if I ignored my boss's daughter, she'd get annoyed and dump Oh, that's not how it works. The whole time, I was dating Akane in secret on the side. So, let me I guess, the boss the knew. She told me she was pregnant. Oh, oh stop to hide. I knew right then what I needed to do. I had to step up as a man. Problem was... I couldn't find the right moment to tell the boss about Akane and Archie. Oh, yeah. By the time I worked up the courage to tell him, Akane was almost due. What was that so minute, I eh? on my hands and knees and told the boss I already had a girl. And she's about to give birth. I didn't let you off easy, I take it. Oh. He had his guys beat the shit out of me. Of course. I entered the new year barely able to move. If only it could have been over and done with then. Hmm. The boss gave an order to the family. An order to kill Akane. Of course he did. What? Kill her? Yes. That's what Yakuza I do. I didn't believe it myself. But he was serious. Even though we were a small family, we were very good at making people disappear. Mm. And when we killed, the body was never found. That's what was waiting for Akane and me. <clears throat> for bringing shame to the patriarch. <sighs> to this day, I have no idea how I got out alive. <clears throat> when I learned what was happening, I fled. I don't think they expected that after how badly they beat me. Yeah, at they the run same away. time, Akane was at the hospital having the baby. I so they were waiting for him at the hospital. to leave as soon as possible. I knew Yakuza were already on their way to the hospital. Mm, so not yet. I made a plan. Okay. I told her we could meet at this cafe so we could skip Alps. town. Cafe Alps? Yes. I waited and waited, but she never came. Mm. But just as I was about to lose all hope, I got a call. Since 1971. Cafe Alps. That's an old business that was an old Yakuza game. Oh, an old pink rotary phone. Akane. Hello. Where are you? I thought they caught you. Our, our baby is here. Oh. Huh? Our son. What? Yeah, I got away, but they're not. She so left far. the hospital with the baby. I I have to keep moving. Where are you? I'll come get you. Shinjuku Station. Where's the lockers? Shinjuku? Okay, stay there. Try to blend into the crowd. Honestly, they're here. Whoops. Akane, they're looking for a woman with a baby. Hide him in a locker and walk out. Keep a low profile. What's our baby in a locker? What are you saying? That's cold. It's in the middle of the night. I'll come get him as soon as I can. They didn't say it was winter. Put you in a safe place. Call the manager at Cafe Alps. Tell him where you are. Now hurry. Put the baby in a locker. Okay. Take good care of him. Akane. If the baby starts to cry, uh, that's not gonna help. Oops. Yeah, she dropped the phone. She's by the locker. Where'd she go? Hurry up and find her. Shit. Now 
the dot. Oh, the guys at the Cafe Ops as well. There's a car that stopped and all the men are coming out of it. Uh, you're fucked, dude. Oh, and you fought them. All four of God. All four of them. Just like Kiryu would. All right, buy the Shinjuku lockers. Yeah, the guy is is limping. He survived that the attack. He's bloodier. Check out the open lockers. Quick. The kid's gonna die of cold. Oh, the, can hear the baby crying. This one? There's no key. Oh, she took the key, that dumb bitch. You gotta find her. What? Hold He's on. punching the locker I'll open. Yeah, he's bleeding him on his fucking fist. He's making a raucous. Open, you piece of shit. It's not gonna work. Open. You're gonna break that. I heard the baby on the other side. Oh, yeah, the 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 the, the controller was rumbling. Oh, there was the the door open. Baby was there. Baby doesn't cry anymore, but he's fine. Oh, it's cute. Oh, he's so purple. It's oh my god, you have purple lips. He's so job. cold. Oh wait, that was Masato. Yeah, that's how he got. He almost died. Yeah, my god, that's um. Those are signs of um. Hypothermia. Yeah, he's barely breathing. Yeah, he doesn't even breathe. Yeah. <laughs> Running with a baby. Move. I know we're they're looking at the ran to a hospital. At the lockers. The doctor examined Masato and said he had multiple organ failure due to low body temperature. Uh. So that's why the young master is in a chair. Yes. It was that cold inside the locker. And apparently, if I had found him five minutes earlier, it could have prevented... If you had the key... Boss, it wasn't your fault. I mean, you got there as soon as you could. I just want to apologize to you. You're burdened with Masato's care because of me. Aww. I don't think of it that way, sir. <laughs> I never saw Akane again after that. She ran to a bar she knew, but... The Hikawa family was already there. As I was taking Masato to the hospital, they were taking her away. They killed her. Yeah. <sighs> she got killed. A few days later, the patriarch and several of his men disappeared. The Hikawa family had ceased to exist. Uh huh? Why? Did you? Oh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> Sorry for rambling on and on. No, that was an interesting but story. There is something I've always wanted to tell you. Mm. Even if only by oath. I consider you a son as well. Oh, that's cute. Jeez, oh, sir. That's... Well, enough gloomy talk. Let's eat, hmm? I'm starving. Me too. Back at the Camarocho Gate, it's so bright. We could, could you well, think it's uh, daytime, but it's I'm nighttime? King and all, how about <clears throat> we feast on the king of Chinese food? Oh, Peking Duck? What could that be? Oh, Yuza. No. 
No, not Yoza. Peking duck. Duck? Is that even edible? You never had duck before? Mm -hmm. The duck is dried in the sun, then roasted. And the skin comes out so crispy and delicious, you'll love it. You peel off the perfectly brown skin, wrap it in seasoned dough. Then your mouth is filled with the sweet and spicy oh, you eat the skin. sauce. Oh, the big deal about the picking duck is <laughs> the skin. That sound good. Yes, which is why in ancient China, only the imperial court ate it. Uh, That's so why it's really the king of, the Chinese, king of food. Chinese food. Yep. Uh. But I wonder if we can find it in Kamrocho. Oh, because he ate it in Yokohama, a big uh, fancy restaurant. Oh, yeah. So that's not the... So we're not in Yokohama. That's a fine and picking dog restaurant. Was there Chinese food? Was there a Chinatown in Kamurocho? I didn't remember. Well, first of all, I'm going to save because I haven't saved since the beginning of playing this game. So... Oh, it's the new save data. Save complete. There you go. Management, Dragon Cart, Part Time Hero, Smartphone, Party, Gear, Item, Skills, Tasks. Okay, skills, all I got is. Oh, I can I can input shortcuts. Interesting. Still Yakuza, Samono Giri, Toughness Lie. Okay, okay, okay. No gear. Uh, I'm barehanded, yeah. I never, I never have time to, and I, I don't even have budget for weapon and gear, and I don't have a party. All right, so let's run around, dodging the people. Arakawa is running right behind me. So it must be further north. If I remember correctly, Chinatown is on Serious Street. Wait, what are they go showing me? They're, they, they're taking me to Theater Square? Is there a, a Chinese restaurant? Maybe they built one ever since last time I played that game. Next to the Club Sega? For real? Wait, 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 what's this? The little shitty thing next to Club Sega? That place? Oh, it's closed. Yeah, of course, it's a shitty place. Seriously? Well, yeah. Hey, you guys open? We need Peking Duck. Relax, Why are you fighting it's a sign? The, new year. the employees are probably at home waiting to ring it in with their families. Man, you dummy. I really wanted to try it though. <laughs> Another time, I promise. Yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> that duck got lucky today. But he won't get away from us next time. <laughs> There's a uh, civilian with 2001 Googles who was uh, looking at us and he just. Have a good New Year's, you two! Cheering and smiling and giving them Ichiban. thumbs up. What have I told you? Why is he talking to oh, civilians? Sorry. Be careful where you laugh outdoors. The only time a Yakuza should laugh with his teeth is when he's is about when to he's die. With family, or when he's in deep shit. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Right. Reputation is everything for a Yakuza. Yeah, they're not supposed but, to be nice. Well, since they're supposed we to be intimidating and the fearful, and Ichiban doesn't show any of those uh, yeah. traits. Sounds good. Hmm. What's wrong, Ichi? You look like you're about to shit yourself. Fuck off. Hey, hey, hey be nice. I know you're trying to be intimidating Don't you and stop that... by to help out at home every now and then. Uh, not for a while, I guess. You should treasure the place where you grew up. 
Yeah, the soul plan. Like it was the most normal place for a kid to be. No matter how it happened, home is home. One day you won't be able to go back, you know. Yeah. Shangri La. Twenty-three years ago, on January first, I came into this world screaming inside this. this oh. Is so So today is actually Ishuban's birthday. So it's gonna be what? Twenty-three years My ago. Soap lands. He even popped me out in one. Then she disappeared. Seventy-seven. I didn't know that till I was older. So he's forty-four years old. I say dad, but we weren't related by blood. Forty-five. He was the owner of the soapland that took me in. Don't know who my other dad is. Probably some guy who dropped in for a wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. Hmm. <laughs> hey, can someone keep an eye on Ichiban? Oh, come here, Ichi. Hey, it's my turn to hold him. I was raised by this city's working class folks. Mm. Yeah, I see the old guy when he was young, the drinking lady when he was young, and the cigarette lady when she was younger. <clears throat> yeah. So it takes a village. So like is that a noodle stand? Looks like a ramen stand. Like one of those cheap According ramen stands. Society. All those people who raised me are scum. Well, I suppose that would make me scum too. Hmm. What? N never. You're everything I want to be. You're like a god. Whoa. <laughs> so first I'm a king, and now I'm a god. Yeah. So he lights up his cigarette for him. Takes a drag. When I met you, I had just graduated middle school. Okay, so now we're explaining the, the, the backstory for uh, the main character. After my foster dad died, I dropped out of school and just started drifting. Yeah. You see a younger Yakuza. Yeah, a younger Ichiban. Down for easy money. Karma always catches up to a dumbass punk. Yeah, he was a dumbass punk. Eventually, I beat up the wrong guy. A Yakuza. Whoops. So, yeah. His crew locked me in a Yakuza office and beat the shit out of me. I thought I was a goner. But I made one last ditch effort to live and yelled out a name. Oh, boy. Arakawa. What? The Arakawa family. If you kill me, they'll hunt every last one of you down. In those days, the name Arakawa the Assassin was like a whispered threat. I knew about that. I didn't give a shit about Yakuza, who they were at the time, but I knew that name. That one name. I thought if I name dropped them, maybe they'd freak out and let me live. Or maybe they you were. You're Arakawa? A kid like you? But my plan backfired. Yeah, you, you don't know what your enemies is. Turned out, these guys were in a huge turf dispute with the Arakawa family. Oh, fuck. One of your little brats damn near beat my boy to death. Says his name's Ichiban Kasuga. They're gonna deny him. Boy. Not in the sorry state we put him in. They wouldn't care about him. If you want him back, you better send Patriarch Arakawa personally. I knew the jig was up. Oh I never boy. Met Arakawa, so obviously he wasn't gonna come. Oh, if he does, he's gonna deny he's ever met him. Maybe we ought to just kill him, Otaki. Arakawa ain't gonna show his face to pick up his trash. <laughs> Looks like you're shit out of luck, you little brat. About to unsheath his knife. <laughs> yep, yeah, the guy in the fedora, come here. Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? 
Where's this bad of mine you say you've got? They saw him for the first time. Arakawa san, the little fuck damn near took our guy out. We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation. Somebody's got to take responsibility. I see. Well, how about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? And he's surprised. He takes the knife and just cut it straight away with a second thought. Everybody's surprised and shocked. Let's go, yellow shit. The guy never met. He lost a freaking uh, pinky over I... a stranger. What? You. You saved my life. Why? How can I thank you? Punch him in the face. Don't Stay misunderstand. That finger wasn't for you. I'm a Yakuza. For us, reputation is everything. My face, my name, they mean something. What do you think it would have meant if I begged them to return you? The whole Arakawa family would have paid for it. If a Yakuza shows weakness, he's done. I did the only thing that would preserve my family's cred. Not the only thing. You could have just said you didn't know me. Why not do that? Why not, indeed? Maybe I wanted to make an impression on a kid who knew well, I Give him a lesson to not never dream drop the Yakuza and name ever moment, again. I saw my life's path ahead of me. It was following this man. So he's waiting in front of the entrance, he sees some cars run by. He sees Arakawa and Joe and the driver bowing to them. Back, and he runs back in with a lighter. Joe stops him and kicks him How many down. Times I gotta say this. We got no cups for punks like you. Never mind the kid, Joe. I didn't care how often they ignored me or what they said. Oh, I just realized something. I stood outside that office every day. Okay, I just realized something. Arakawa is wearing a black leather glove on his left hand. That was the hand where he cut his finger from. So to hide the fact that he lost a finger, he's keeping his glove. Interesting. In the he's waiting to take him thin. Under the scorching sun. Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Oh, now we see Masato when he's at school. You know him? Go on ahead, Masato. Kid, the Yakuza isn't something to aspire to. Haven't your parents explained that to you? My parents are dead! I don't have parents, sir! I had a foster dad, but he's dead now! Yeah, I see the, the, the black leather glove from his left hand. He takes a cigarette from his right. Always giving him the opportunity to light up his cigarette. Ah, oh, he does it. Come on. Sir! Ah, uh, and that's how he brings, takes him in. It's been 100 days since I'd met Arakawa san. Yeah, usually um, Yakuza recruit people who don't have family of their own. People who have nothing to lose and nowhere to go. That's how you make invincible warriors. With a code of honor and stuff. They still do shitty business and illegal thing, but still. Man, that Odin is always so freaking good. Thanks for treating me, boss. Sure thing. Let's 
So more people with uh, 2001 goggles on their face. Ready to celebrate. Hey, it's almost time for the countdown. Yeah. Somebody's shaking a woman. You came here alone on New Year's Eve. That means you're looking for one thing. No. Leave me alone. No. Quit acting like you're too good for us. Let's have some fun. Sometimes it's the scum of society that has to do the cleaning up. Hey, a new century is about to start, and I know you don't want to spend the first week lying in a hospital bed. Get out of here before an old man has to crack some skulls. The hell you say? Keep out of this. Who the fuck are you? Tojo clan, Arakawa family. Now get your drunk asses away from the lady here. Time to go home and listen to the New Year's bells like good boys. Hold on, are you guys Yakuza? <laughs> They've gotta be. Look, he's got the hair and everything. Yeah, plus they're wearing costumes straight out of a mafia movie. You fuckers better not be making fun of us! Hey boss, leave this to me. Yeah, Arakawa was about to take care of them and it's then... It's been a few years since I saw you fight. Hopefully you're stronger now. No, Ichiban just... Uh -huh. walks in front Just of him wait till you see what the initiative. I can do. okay so now I have to climb circle well if I own perfect guard that's the key to victory long term skill okay um, the little shit's gonna die in one punch oh yeah and then oh shit Poorly time. Okay. Half his life. Yeah. Okay. Now I, I need more practice. Fist. Yep. Oh. Okay. He's dead. I wanted to practice. All right. Halfway to level four. <sighs> Who is this guy? Uh, he's crazy. You okay, miss? <laughs> Get away from me! It's hey, fine. Come on, at least thank the boss. It's fine. Just forget it, Ichi. Remember, we're Yakuza. Yeah, I get it. We're not heroes. Now then, I'll see you later, Ichi. You better show up at the office next year. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't miss it for the world. Good night, boss. <laughs> you too. Man, he's such a badass. Now I wouldn't mind another drink. Is he gonna go at a bar? <laughs> no, there's a more people clogging up from the screen. Four, three. People sharing a scarf. Oh, that's cute. Happy New Year, 2001. That's 21 years ago. Twenty-one years plus twenty-four. Yeah, it's forty-five. So Ichiban is forty-five years old today. Happy anniversary! Happy birthday, Ichiban! Happy birthday! Your birthday is looking at the fireworks. Yeah, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Playing Sir, like a dragon on Chibon's up. birthday. Wake up now. Oh, he slept on the park bench. Oh, shit. Fell asleep. Sorry about that, it's sir. It's dangerous to fall asleep outdoors, you know. Can I see identification? Oh, yeah, uh, about that. Yes, like your license. A violent crime was committed out here recently. Wait, what? Shit. 
shit. My wallet's gone. Uh, you see why you shouldn't sleep out here? You need to file a stolen item report now. I'm busy, so you'll have to go down to the station. Okay, I'll, I'll just walk whenever, right? Hi, boss. First of all, Happy New Year. Sorry to call you first thing in the morning, Eugene. No problem. I'm up and ready to seize the day. Can you come by the office? Sure thing. You want to go out for the first shrine visit of the year? No. Just come to the office. Try to be inconspicuous. Inconspicuous? Uh, okay. You got it. I have no idea what it means. Yeah, I'm running like crazy. I'm scaring everyone off. What's this? The red lights. Import adult goods. Next to a club Sega. Was there murder? There's police all around. A lot of officers are here on the holiday. Oh yeah, that one cop said there's been a crime or something. Arakawa-san says to be inconspicuous. Guess I should take the back streets. Okay, so I gotta avoid the cops, right? That's what they're saying. So, can I go here? Uh, yeah, can I go here? So, back street is uh, forward. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can see on the map the, the red dots where I, ca I cannot go. So, I guess there's gonna be a cop here. Oh no, there's a crowd. It sounds like a stealth mission, but it's not. Another crowd here. Don't you forget it. Oh, yeah, asshole? How about you don't forget your place? Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you? The Sakaki family, dumbass! Sakaki? Um, so let's do it! Okay, Sakaki family. I don't know where you're from, but from the looks... Oh, you're level one, all of you? Let's see, can I just... No, wait. One of them is level two. Sakaki family member. Okay, that song is different. So let's try this. Ah! That one. Oh. Mm, my my parrying needs more. Um... Okay, so let's try. Check this out. Smaller fry. Yeah, one punch. Yeah, I'm gonna stick up with level one now instead. Okay. Okay. Stare down. Mad dog in Kasuga. Remain on phase. Okay, so that was a skill that you used. Okay, so tenacious fist. I'm the level one. You know what, the level 2 is going to die anyway, so might as well take care of him. Check this out. Uh, Punch! Okay. Technically, the other guy was in the way, so I don't know why... Uh, he didn't got it either. Alright. 44 job experience, level 4. Halfway to rank 2. In uh, my Yakuza job. <clears throat> I'm, still, I'm, I'm a level 4 Yakuza, but I'm at rank 2. Nice. Level up. 4, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. No skills. Did put Fuck displayed. You. You're gonna regret this. 
I'll fuck you back. What the hell was that about? Probably nothing. We've always got some kind of beef with the Sakaki going on. Oh shit, that took a while. Gotta head into the office. Okay. So the office was just there. Wait, wait, in the cutscene, uh, Ichiban was waiting there, but there was actually a car rolling here. There's actually room for a car drive here. Okay. Enter. It's me, Ichiban. Boss? Good morning. Bows down. Oh, Ichi. Have a seat. There is a Sir. bottle of sake uh, on the floor. The ashtrays is filled with cigarettes. Uh, packs of cigarettes are being crumpled down. Stop. Ichiban's trying to Just sit down. fix this mess. Uh, sure. There's no light. What happened? This looks like the Tojo logo, you know I'm not family, sure. Right? Yeah. You mean the family we've been fighting with? Hmm. We're fighting them because of a rumor that they're connected to the Omi. The Omi Alliance. The Omi all the way out in Kansai? Yeah, yes. Usually they're in Sotenbori. Why are they doing the here? They entire region. They're much bigger than most people realize. Mm -hmm. The Tojo clan has butted heads with them for years. It's a bitter rivalry. Yeah, to say the least. And what? The Sakaki family's cooperating with them? No. The Sakaki family isn't stupid enough to commit outright treason. Oh, they're Tojo they as well. Tell to the Omi for some quick, easy cash. Or maybe they're unaffiliated. I confronted them about it at an officer's meeting. But their patriarch pretended not to know anything. Blah, blah, blah. Bastard traitor. Ah. Long story short, they don't like us much right now. But no shit. But at the same time, they still report directly to our main family. The Tojo. Okay, so they. So we need to be careful. They're still Tojo. Okay. We don't want to cause the main family any trouble. Yeah. That said, did something happen? Two hours ago, I got a call from Joe. He. He shot a Sakaki Yakuza. Okay. Really? Shot dead? Apparently. He just happened to run into one of them. They were both alone. No other men. It was one on one. And Joe came out on they top. They talked shit to each other for a bit. Then, Joe pulled his gun. Luckily, no one saw them. But the police have already found the other guy's body. Hmm, so much about it's which one we killed, we've never found the body. They raid our office. Oh, okay. <sighs> If word gets out that our captain killed someone from a family above ours, it will be considered mutiny. We'll be expelled from the Tojo clan, and our tiny family will Wait, the Sakaki is on top of the Arakawa and the Tojo? You see why I can't let Joe get arrested for this. Huh? So he's buying down to Ichiban. Ichi, would you be willing to take his place? Are you serious, boss? I mean... That's exactly Kiryu's plot. I've been waiting for a shot like this. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. For those who don't know, in the original Yakuza game, like, Kiryu was like three to five years into the Yakuza. Kind of like Ichiban right there. And then something happened. Like, he got uh, his uh, sworn brother shot the dojima the dojima patriarch 
even though it's like he, he, they 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 were from there um I'm, I'm not sure i think they was yeah I th yeah i'm pretty sure yeah he was an asshole he deserved to get shot but yeah nishiki shot uh the the, the dojima boss and Kiryu took the fall for it. So, but that, that wasn't a request from his patriarch because in that case, it was the patriarch that got killed. But uh, yeah, this is the, he's like the captain took a shot, uh, shot um, a member of a superior family in the um, Tojo ladder. So now the patriarch to save the family, we don't take the fall for the captain because if it's Joe, since he's the captain, yeah, that would mean like destroying the family. So it's basically what happened with um, with Kiryu, except that there, there are little tweak differences. But yeah, he went for jail for like how many years? Fifteen years? No, ten years. He went for ten years. Yeah, he went to jail for ten years. So there. Oh. oh shit. I didn't realize that the controller died. It's okay, I need to change the controller anyway. So resume. This is my chance to finally repay my debt to you. After everything you've done for me. Uh. Let him lock me up for 10 or even 20 years. I'd be happy to do it for you. Ichi. He's crying. He's crying on the table. Oh, hello, me too. Thanks. Good job surviving another year. <laughs> we made it to a new century. Oh yeah, guess so. Yeah, I've totally forgot. Oh yeah, it's my birthday. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go to jail on my birthday. Hey, you going to your first shrine visit of the year? How about we do Kamaro again? You do it and have a good time. I'm not going. Huh? Why not? Oh, I'm gonna do something, something important for the came up. for the family. Captain Sawashiro spring something on you? Yeah. Something like that. New Year's barely begun and he's already working you like a dog. No holidays for the Yakuza. We work 365 days a year. So you're going to be busy all day? Me too. How old are you right now? Uh, 20, if you really want to know. That's young. So in 10 years, you'll be 30. In 20, you'll be 40. Great math, dude. What are you getting at? Just eat well and live life to the fullest, man. Uh, you feeling okay? <laughs> I'll call you later. All right. He's smiling. For my last meal, let's go with a beef bowl. Oh, to that place that we uh, we stumbled across. Yeah, it was over there, right? Sorry, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. And it's that street over there. Oh shit! It's the cop. I forgot. The cop's still there. Oh wait, it's not. It's not a cop. It's maybe it was a Sakaki family member. I wonder if. Nah, I don't want to take a chance. Camera Theater New York Hot Dog Yeah, here's a beef bowl place I remember the beef bowl place Large beef bowl please with my 30 yen Oh, three bowl Hey Calories Four He's eating like Naruto, man
He doesn't have enough money for that. I was a free man for a while. Screw it. Yo, hit me with one more. Huh? <laughs> sure. Coming right up. Fifth ball. He doesn't Another have the money ball. for that. It pains me to say this, Ichi, but you've been banished from the family effective last month. What? I'm banished? If only he'd been from a family outside the clan, I could have merely expelled you. But this man, not only was he Tojo, he reported directly to the main oh. family. But being banished, doesn't that mean I can never come back? Don't worry. I'll be working on that personally. I'll have the whole thing reversed by the time you get out of prison. So he's been banished Thank from the boss. Tojo ever since last and month. perhaps banishment will work in our favor. The court will go easier on you now that you're just a civilian. Ah. Damn, let them do their worst. I can handle a few years in the can. So yeah, he has a straight look on his face. Okay, now he's done. Put this chopstick on his bowl. Go to Osama. Saying thank you for the meal. You gotta savor every last moment, don't you? <laughs> While eating a beef bowl? For sure. <laughs> Enough stalling. Okay, he leaves now. Soon. Yeah, I'll try. Last cigarette. Oh, he's empty. Seventh heaven. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna go to the police station and come fit. Yeah, Kamaru Police Station. Hey, buddy. Did you ever find your wallet? Oh, it's the same cop! Well, if not, you might as well file a theft report inside. I'm gonna file more than a theft report, sir. Looks at the police station with a firm look and goes straight in like a convict. Like a sure man. Please find the defendant Ichiban Kasuga guilty of murder. He is hereby sentenced to 15 years. 15? How come we got him five more years than fucking Kiryu? He shot a patriarch. It was the fucking Dojima. The Dojima. Trophy for the family. Yeah, for the family. Override. Yes. All right. End of chapter one. Yes. Yeah, safe complete. Chapter two. A bloody reunion. Am I still a Yakuza? What about my ranking? What about my job? What about my job? Summer of 2002. That was next year. 18 months later. They're doing some crafts. They're building up. Oh, they're sta Oh my god. Are you, are you for real? Are you for real? Are you for real? They're packing chopsticks. Are you saying that every time I go to a sushi place and they give me chopsticks, those were packed by convicts? They were handled by people who committed crimes. This is one of those moments I could yell, I go, ugh. But it's 8.30 in the morning, in the, in the evening, and I don't want to disturb my neighbors because they're celebrating New Year's, Eve, New Year's as, as much as me. And they have families, and they have kids, and they have kids that go to bed earlier. And I don't want any trouble. So, but yeah, she... I didn't know that. Yeah, packing chopsticks. This is Ichiban packing chopsticks. Inmate 1119. Okay, I'm done. Thank you. Hey, you give me your pack. Hey, you missed a box. That was yours. Do your own. So you're gonna. <laughs> Sir, I've completed my quota for the day. May I take a bathroom break? Very well. 
And he leaves. Yo, do you admit this fist? Yeah, everybody has a buzz cut, so they they're giving they're sharing glares with the other inmates, and they seem to be ready to ambush him for something. So yeah. yeah. Is that a stock room? Yeah. Three against one. One of them is watching. One of them was all in and the other was a sponging his guts out. Kasuga, uh, Kasuga is puking blood. So, where the yard is used to be Tojo Clan. Used to be Tojo Clan. You think you can be the perfect little prisoner and get back on the outside quick and easy? Kick his nose. Idiot. Each one grabs his face. You could act like a goddamn angel in here, but you won't be getting parole for at least ten years. So I'd say it's in your best interest to get along with us. <sighs> Not much to say, huh? Hey, what family were you in? That's a simple enough question to answer. Right. The Arakawa family. Arakawa? <laughs> you mean that little after school club of a family? Yeah, they're bottom of the Tojo oh, chair, man, so what? Let down. Here I was thinking we had a real gangster. Oh, we have a big badass motherfucker around here. What did you just say? I said your family's a bunch of small time punks. Your patriarch may have been Arakawa the assassin once, but that was a long time ago. I heard he's gone fucking soft now. You got You're soft. For that washed up has been, and you think it means something? Oh, that's so fucking cute. Bastard. I'll kill you. Try your best, little bitch. Spit in his mouth. Oh, you fucking. Grab the wrench. And he hits him. Boom. So now Ichiban's back in his cell. Guards are going in, giving his food. He's in solitary. Milk and bread, that's it. Why'd you suddenly fight back? You took it for a whole year. Those guys had to be taken to the police hospital for crying out loud. Oh, we didn't you see that. Their teeth out. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. And they were talking shit about my bum. Okay, so we didn't see that, but basically, um, when he got hit with the wrench, he fought back and he knocked all three of them down, and that cost him uh, extra time in jail. So that's why he's in solitary. Talking shit about my boss. Your patriarch waiting for you on the outside? Yeah. Yeah. They were calling him a nobody. Saying all this bullshit about him going soft. I couldn't just let that stand. <clears throat> well, what's he gonna say when he hears the bad news? He won't hear it. That's why he beat their sorry asses. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your sentence getting extended. I don't understand why anybody commits murder in the first place. But if there really is someone out there waiting for you, you should behave yourself. When someone believes in you, try not to disappoint them. Oh, he's trying to be nice, but... Alright. Thank you, Mr. Guard, sir. But you don't know the full story. Fifteen years later. So we're in twenty seventeen now. Number eleven nineteen. Letter for you. The same guard. 
His roommate are scared of him. Apparently it's from someone important. Huh? It's from Harakawa san. Okay. The, the letters are being opened to check for uh, shit, contraband, stuff like that. Dear Ichiban, I wanted to avoid writing to you while you're in prison, but today my brush just called to me. If your sentence hadn't been extended, I would be planning your big welcome back party right now. Yeah. I can't tell you how sad I am that I can't do that. <laughs> The days have been so lonely without you. Hmm. Sometimes I think I hear your laughter in the office, but I always turn around and see that nobody's there. Only a parent knows how truly empty a home can feel. Parents are nothing without their children. Twenty nineteen, Ichiban Kazuko gets out of prison. Oh, okay. So he went in for I'm eighteen years. For the day when I will turn around and see your laughing face. So now his hair has grown longer now. They they only shaved him once. And then they let it grow. I don't know how it works. PS The day you get out of prison. Let's get that picking duck we missed. Oh yeah, the picking duck. Yes, I was promised picking duck. We're gonna eat picking duck crispy Boss, skin. I'm so sorry. What were you saying? I got into that fight. I wasn't even thinking about how long you had already been waiting for me. Yeah, he grew a um, An extra three years beard. I made you wait just because I did something stupid. I'm sorry I failed you. I held you up for so long, but I'm out now. I'm finally back! Is that a rehearsal? Because there's nobody there. You look stupid. Oh, oh, hello, son! That's the grandma on the other side of the street looking at him. You did good! Your father must be proud of you! Oh, the guards. Yeah, just sorry, sir. It's like he tries to come... come uh, console him. The, the prison, the, the guard, the prison guards trying to console him. Said, no, there's nobody waiting for you. Did you not know they've gotten more strict about enforcing the anti Yakuza laws? Yeah. It shouldn't surprise you that bosses aren't pulling up in fancy cars at prisons anymore. Yeah. In the letter, he said he'd come for me. Not gonna happen. Just too dangerous these days. Yeah, we didn't expect that uh, the yeah. situations were going to be like Thanks that. For everything. The law is going to pass the way it did. Yeah. So now he's walking away. So I have this weird... I have a baseball cap hiding this <coughs> uncut hair. But tied into uh, some sort of weird ponytail. Uh, you really thought the welcome wagon was coming. Mm. Mm. Oh! Who's this guy? Okay, so there's a gray guy. Okay, okay. So, that guy is wearing some sort of uh, police jacket. He's got salt and pepper eye, uh, hair, a uh, little scruffy face, uh, kind of well built but chubby. He has one of those dad bods. And, um, yeah. Uh -huh. Of course, you being in the slammer for 18 years. Oh, and fingerless gloves. Next stop. Gotta say, Yokohama, that's deep loyalty you got. Waiting Fight the future, KBD base. Visited you. Who the hell are you? Guardian MM Army Air Force. Kanagawa Police. A detective? I used to be. Now I'm just a washed up DMV grunt, one year shy of retirement. What's oh. a guy from the slowest apartment ever doing here? Come to remind me to renew my license. Is that a service you offer nowadays? I'm here because I have real business with you. Uh huh? You, the murderer, who shot a man on the last night of the 20th century. Heck, I even used some precious PTO to be here today. Oh, shit. Uh, well, sorry to disappoint you, but 
But I don't plan on being a repeat offender. That's what everyone thinks when they get out. The moment they set foot on the other side of this fence... Shove it up your ass. You don't know shit about me. You were born and raised in Kamarocho after being abandoned at the famous Shangri-La soap land. Okay, so you the saw owner, the first chapter, Jiro big Kasuga deal. took you in. Then he and his prostitutes raised you. Well, after that, it's by the book. You dropped out of school, committed multiple offenses of shoplifting and assaults, then finally joined the Yakuza at age 16. 16, yeah. But you had a largely unremarkable career as a member of the Tojo clan's Arakawa family. Well, till the night you killed an officer higher up on the food chain. Then, January 1st, 2001, you turned yourself in at Kamaro Police Station. Then, you were sentenced to 15 years of this prison. But... After getting an extra three years tacked on for bad behavior, we finally arrive at today, where you were just released about three and a half minutes ago. That about sum it up. Yep. Wow. You're my biggest fan for sure. Yeah, why do you, you know all this? You to show your DMV friends? <laughs> I just do my homework. Great. Detective. Whatever. I don't care why you're here. Just get out of my way. There's somewhere I need to be. Oh, paid a visit to the Arakawa family? It ain't none of your business. Just leave me alone. Oh, but actually, it is my business. It very much is. Nothing personal, of course. Now, you're free to go wherever you feel like, but I'm coming with. What? Why? What? Are you serious? What? Whatever. Do what you want, man. Crushes his head and follows him. Okay, now we're at the um, hairdresser. Uh, miss, I don't want to insult you, but what did you do to my hair? What kind of a bird's nest is this? A punch perm? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. First thing he did when he got out of jail was to get an haircut. And he asked for a punch perm. For those who don't know, it's like, remember Mondo from Danganronpa? Like, that's a punch perm. Like, it's one of those trademark, uh, stereo, uh, typical uh, haircut from the 80s. Nobody wears that anymore. And the girl looks like she's a very young uh, hairstylist. She'd never done a, one of those before. She had to look it up. And that's the result. <laughs> it's like a crow's nest. It's like, it's like a, one, of, one of those afro but it went all frilly. <laughs> it's so funny to watch. Is, I've never done one. <laughs> she never did. Uh, how am I supposed to face the boss with a rat's nest on my head? <laughs> it's a rat's nest. Yeah, <laughs> that cheese rat thing in the back. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, I was kind of laughing as well, I mean. He does look at it like a jackass. Everyone, air design, <laughs> silent horror. What kind of look are you going for, man? <laughs> Shut up! I just ended up with a bad barber, is all. That wasn't a barber. That was a anyway, student. You're really gonna just keep following me? <laughs> I told you, I have business with you, but I'm waiting patiently for you to take care of yours. So, what's next? You're creeping me out, man. Give me a break. Why is he following us? A guy is gonna eat, indulging his food and drink. A certain combination or a good conscious is gonna experience points. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes when you eat food, you get experience points. So Ichiban is washing, polishing uh, tombstones. I where you were going. Chikao Suzumori's grave, huh? Hold on. 
Isn't he the guy that was killed 18 years ago? Yeah, that's right. So you're okay. wiping so. the guy you, you were guilty of killing. You're looking at him. <laughs> Get real. You think I'm joking? Uh, let me ask you this then. Why'd you kill him? I'd been banished from the Arakawa family, and I just... I, I was so mad, I just did it. You killed someone just because you were pissed off. That's what not you, motive. A boy with daddy's gun? Nah, you ain't that immature. Now, if I were you, I wouldn't be visiting the guy's grave. Why do you even give a shit, huh? I know that 18 years ago, Suzumori was shot and killed. But not by you. And yet, you turned yourself in to save your family. And everyone knew you didn't do it. The director of criminal affairs, the judge, jurors. Everyone knew? You served your time. Why are you still lying? Who really killed him? Me. Is that what you're following? I did it. <laughs> well, you're a real piece of work. That's really the reason why you followed well, him. You are a big pain in my ass. When are you gonna drop the act? My act? The detective shtick. Why are you following me around? There's no way an old fart one breath away from retirement suddenly decides to babysit an ex-con. Who are you really? What the hell's your angle here, man? My angle. <laughs> well? So there are people who look on the other side of the graveyard who are walking. Oh, one of them is Arakawa. In the middle. But the uh, people around him, I never met them before. Yes. And where is Joe? Yeah, Arakawa was there. Arakawa -san. That's Arakawa. <laughs> yeah, Chico tries to run to him, but then there's people they've never met. Who's yeah, they're gonna intercept him. Yeah, who's this dude? And that guy is Arakawa san, isn't he? Why are you asking? Who the hell are you? You some kind of reporter? We don't do media, so get out of here. Go on, beat it. You don't understand. I used to be a member of the Arakawa family. If you were from the family, then we would know who you are. I've been in prison for 18 years. I just got out today. <laughs> if you're gonna lie, you're gonna have to do better than that. Just let me talk to Arakawa-san. You'll be glad to see me, so let me through! Hey! Hold your horses there, dumbass. You don't know what you're dealing with. Yeah, they're busy visiting an important grave today. Go on, get out of here! I didn't do 18 years for this shit. Step aside. If you don't, they're gonna have two more graves to visit today! Alright, we're already on... Okay, look for square when you have to burst properly. Okay. Arakawa family. So these must be new members, because I've never met them before in my life. One of them is level 4. Alright, I guess it's gonna be skill. Yeah, both of them are level 4, but one of them has more life than the other. So I'm gonna attack the smaller one. Okay. Fist fist. Yeah, knew it. One shot. Okay. Punch. Another one which is the trick. Ah, too early. That's hard on the fingers, the, all the mashing. Canada. Alright, I'm still level 4, rank 2. Multiplier didn't change at 710 yen the end to my name. You bastard. You think you're getting away with this? Pulls out a gun. Oh, you want some more? Hey. Hey, hey, hey. hey fellas. We're sorry, okay? Well, my friend here, he's he's a little crazy, that's all. What the hell you say about me? Look, I'll give him a good talking to. Sorry about all this. We'll get out of here. This guy steps away. Let go of me, damn it! Don't you get it? That's my boss! 
Maybe not. No, you, it's no longer your boss. Remember, you you ex Tojo now. Boss, Horikawa-san, it's me. You've been banished. I got out today. It's Ichiban. Ichiban Kasuga. Oh, they heard you, and they uh, Arakawa stopped. He turns around. He looks, and then he looks away and keep walking. Why didn't he recognize me? Oh no, he did. He did. Come on. 18 years. Isn't it possible he forgot who you were? No way. He didn't forget me. I mean, shit. He sent me a letter in prison. Oh, but was it him? I'm sure he just didn't hear me. He's was older, it you know? him? His ears are starting to go and his eyes, too. He definitely heard you. Pretty sure your eyes met, too. No, he didn't. I understand. It's a hard thing to accept, Kasuga. But take a hint. Best case scenario, he simply forgot about you. If he does actually remember you, then clearly he doesn't want to talk to you. That's not true. There's just no way. I know the problem. What now? Think. Why would he be here? Visiting a grave, probably. Exactly. Visiting Susamori's grave. And I bet if he saw me standing right next to it, he'd recognize me on the spot. Yeah. All I gotta do is make sure he sees me right here and. Wait, 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 wait. Look at that. Not Susanori. Akane or something. Wait, wait, who's that? That's a big ass tomb. That's a big grave. That's like a He's, shrine to uh, himself. Definitely visiting a different grave. Which one? That's that's the former Omi chairman's grave. Yeah, I, rec I, rec I recognize the crest. The Yakuza who run Kansai? Why would he visit that grave? And with so many guys. It's a logical thing for him to do, since he's an Omi officer. Oh, he's an Omi. <laughs> no, okay, 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 okay. Here's, I think, what happened. I think the Arakawa got kicked out of the Tojo anyway. And then he got joined in with the, the Omi. Oh, I got a text message. Sorry, I got to take the pick up. I have to take that. Sorry about that. Uh-uh. <clears throat> Sorry. Mm. Ah, I see. Oh, that's sweet. I wish I could tell you what was it all about, but it's a private matter. Sorry. Sorry about that. That was a nice message that I got. One of those uh, New Year's things. Pretty nice. Listen here, old timer. Those guys we just finished fighting said they were Arakawa. Didn't you hear them? Well, the Arakawa family is from the Tojo clan. Tojo clan. Everyone knows they've been at war with the Omi for ages. <laughs> you must have been a pretty shit detective, huh? <laughs> 
The Arakawa family isn't Tojo anymore. Huh? What did you just say? Masumi Arakawa is currently the acting captain of the Omi Alliance. He's the second in command. What? What are you talking about? Oh, that makes sense. You know what? For the sake of the Arakawa family, it would make sense because they've been in the bottom of the food chain of Tojo. Now he's on the Omi Alliance. Is now he's is a top gun, and he's the guy is second in command. I mean, yeah, fuck yeah. Can't be true. I knew you wouldn't believe me. But think about it. Arakawa was the patriarch of a third string family in the Tojo clan. Yeah, m more like a fourth. Not the greatest position, but the tides changed for him two years ago. Oh. See, the newly elected governor of Tokyo. Wait, 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 wait. The guy in the middle was the guy. The guy in the middle was the guy we saw at the hostess club with the girlfriend, Yumino. Uh, Orinuchi, the, the, the senior commissioner. So two years ago, he was elected governor. Oh, and now we see a picture of a uh, police officer all around him. Interesting. What a twist. I was to scrub the city of crime. He started with targeted attacks on all Tojo's sources of funding. Mm. He called it the Kamracho 3K plan. Okay. What the hell's that? An anti-Yakuza policy. Keep them hungry, keep them poor, and keep them out. Oh. 3Ks. The police started raiding major Yakuza families with surgical precision. Family officers were being arrested one after the other. Oh. There was just one exception. The Arakawa family. He went through the cracks because it was so small. A surprise. The reason the police were able to destroy the Tojo clan so fast was because they had inside intel from the Arakawa family. Mm. Basically, Masumi Arakawa sold out the Tojo clan to the cops. No, he wouldn't. That doesn't make sense, but. <laughs> I'm not even finished with the story yet. With the Tojo clan almost completely wiped off the map. The Omi seized the opportunity and poured their guys into Kamurocho. Oh no, what about to, the what about to, um, they what happened to Daigo right. Tojima? Arakawa must have slipped them a little something under the table. But they were always what? weakened. I'm talking about a bribe, dumbass. Arakawa slipped the police some cash so they would ignore the Omi Alliance's expansion. Nah. And that's how they took control of Kamurocho without spilling a single drop of blood. Hmm. To pay back the favor, they welcomed Masumi Arakawa into their organization as the acting captain. Meanwhile, in the eyes of Tojo clan, Arakawa had committed high treason. So what little of the Tojo remains will occasionally attack the Omi, but it's pitiful. I'm sorry to tell you all this, but you had to find out sooner or later. Don't let it get you down. It had nothing to do with you. You okay? You feeling all right? Nothing is fucking all right! Yeah, didn't think so. Harakawa-san defecting to the Omi? The Tojo clan is gone? You know what? You're a fucking terrible liar! So you don't believe me? No way in hell it went down like that! Harakawa-san was like the walking image of duty and honor! You saw him! He was visiting an Omi grave. Think about that. That wasn't Arakawa song! I haven't seen the guy for 18 years, so how am I supposed no, to No, 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 the scar was a dead giveaway. Think about it. That guy wasn't even wearing clothes that Arakawa song would wear! Bullshit. <sighs> you do recall the men you fought identified themselves as Arakawa. Yeah. I. We must have misheard him! No. Where are you taking me anyway? This isn't the way to Kamurocho! You change your going to Yokohama. What? No, I need to get to Kamurocho. There's nothing for you in Kamurocho. There's nothing for you there. But come with me to Yokohama. As I've said, two of us have business to attend to. Enough mystery. What business? An investigation. You are going to help me with it. 
Hmm. Oh, fuck off! Why should I help you with anything, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think you had a choice in the matter? Soon we'll be in Kanagawa Prefecture, my jurisdiction. Now calm down and let's have some peace and quiet. Kanawa, mm -hmm. Kanagawa is in Ishinjo. Stop the car right now! Or, or fuck you other way around. Hey, Kasuga! If you won't come the easy way, I can make up a reason to do it the hard way. You want that? Oh, now the threats are starting, huh? Well, at least they make you seem like a real cop. Oh, is that right? Yeah, like any dirty cop. You're coming up with some bullshit story to trick me. So what is it you want? For me to do some of your dirty work? See right through, you fucker. What family in Yokohama are you from? No. Uh. Wow. I showed you my badge, remember? But I guess there's no cure for There's no cure for stupid. Ha! You think I'm gonna fall for that bullshit? Hey, Cell phone. What do you think you're doing, you idiot? Oh, he threw his badge away. He stopped the car and picked it up. He takes the opportunity Where to get out of the you car. Think you're, going? you're gonna walk? Come, Rocho. Obviously. You're gonna walk all the way to you Rocho, you to me? You really need to drop the detective act already. It's obvious you're a Yokohama Yakuza. And hey, at least I'll get one hell of a story out of this. How I nearly got kidnapped right out of prison. <laughs> oh, you are such a dumbass. I have to go find Arakawa-san now. He's somewhere in Kamurocho waiting for me. Look, thanks for testing my instincts after I was in the joint for so long. Now see ya. I promise, Kasuga. There's nothing left for you in Kamurocho. Oh, damn it. I thought shit might go sideways. Guess he has to see it for himself. Yeah. He's gonna get the ass to get by, bit in his ass. That's the only way he's gonna learn. So sad, so sad. Learning. FX Vision, Kokichi. A lot of things change in 18 years. Golden Triangle, Alvin. What the hell is that? Selfie sticks. What, if that, what the hell are those? Why is everybody looking at their cell phone? The screens are so big. Vaping? Is that a cigarette? Yeah, they're vaping. The, the sign doesn't work anymore. Yeah, culture shock. It has been 18 years. Input display during the attack still X. Press input display the moment you attack connect to inflict more damage. The supplies went auto. It's really Camrocho, but everything's so different now. First things first. I need to stop by the office. Uh, mm, um, okay. Uh, <laughs> about that. Uh, if it's true. Uh, the office doesn't work anymore. So this must be Nande Daloan. Is that a pharmacy? What happened to Donkichi? Metro station. Cannot go down. Some games I could. Okay then. Fuck you. Oh wait, what's this? What is that? Is that a sushi place? It looks like a sushi place. Yeah, look at all that fish. Octopus. Salmon. They make some ice patch. It looks like smoke. Shrimps. I'm wasting the chair. Sorry about that. Sushi Gin. Or Sushi Gin. Select from the menu. Alright, we got Nishiki set. Nigiri. Style and cucumbers, cucumber rolls. Yeah, the kiwam, the miyabi set, which is, which is nine piece. The kiwami is the eight piece. Flower shirashi, salmon and eggs, sushi rice. Kiwami shirashi, tuna squid, salmon scatter over rice. Tuna rice bowl. Yeah, I remember that's tuna. 
seafood rice bowl. Mm hmm. Oh, sui mono, clear broth with condensed seafood stock. Oh, and lobster miso soup. Oh, they eat lobster on miso? Like, this should be interesting. This is more for MP than HP, but interesting. I'm not gonna eat anything, I'm broke. Sorry about that, sir. Thank you for, for looking at the menu. There's supposed to be a donkey chi nearby. Oh, this is not a shop. Dining bar. Downstairs? Okay. It is downstairs. This is new. I don't remember this place. Yoro no taki. Okay, sashimi platter. This is another sushi place. And pig vinegar mackerel. Ugh. Cured fish with lots of fat. What are the restaurant's most recommended items? Kochuri salad. Peppery dressing, abundant onions. Okay, edamame. Yeah, soybeans. Skewer platter. In spicy miso. Smelt with roe. Salted yakisoba with Sichuan chili oil. Ooh. The Sichuan chili oil adds for an extra floral numbing kick. Japanese black mince cutlet. Juicy mince cutlet with meat from the beef cattle known as Japanese. <gasps> black Wagyu. This is mince meat from Wagyu. Stir frying bean sprouts. Ice brulee, low sugar vanilla dessert topped with crispy burnt caramel from. It's a creme brulee, but why do they call it ice? Because it low on sugar. Nah, nah, it's creme brulee. It's, it's definitely creme brulee, but something's something's off. And draft beer. Okay. So those are restaurants. So, what happened to Don Quixote? Kamuro Police Station? What? No, what happened to Don Quixote? M Side Cafe, okay. Fuji Soba, Smile Burger, I remember Smile Burger. Club Sega. The Pawn Shop, oh the Pawn Shop was moved. Popo's there. Le Marche. Le Marche. Am I supposed to... This part of town is... Oh, Camarocho Hills. I remember those. They were in construction back then, but now... Hills Garden, Shishfuku Station Street. Uh, Northwest Theater. The Children's Park. Was this Akauchimaru Hotel District? Oh, I remember the Hotel District. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a bit different. Yeah, Champion District. Okay, so the bar, what, what I call the Bar District was actually the Champion District. Little Asia. Serio, this was Serio. Taihei, I remember Taihei. This is weird. This was not there before. This building, this building was moved. This is Millennium Tower, I remember. Uh, 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 uh. The Chi has been removed. Lullaby Mahjong. So the Stardust has been removed as well. Public Park 3. Popo's still there. This is the new Serena. This is Kiryu's old hideout. It's still there. This is Escape Mitaku. Wild Jackson, yeah, I saw Wild Jackson. Gyukaku. Gyukaku. Akaushimaru, okay. Akaush so Akaushimaru is a, is, 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 it's a, it's a franchise, cause, okay, Gintaku Haibal Tavern, Ringer Hut. Those are all, oh, wait, wait, wait. Those are all restaurants, right? Let me check, location list. Zoom out, zoom in. Talk all names. I don't want to remove the lays. Uh, 
R2, no. Zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. Okay, details. Okay. That's not what I want. There's some stuff on the top. I want to access them. Oh, location list. Uh, okay, so this is all the restaurant. This is all the sh district. La Marche is actually a shop, like Ibisu Pond. The gaming centers, like the club Sega, the Mahjong, Maruhan. Oh, the batting center. I remember the batting center. This taxis, and that's it. So that's all they have. Restaurant, shopping centers, gaming centers. That's it. No more donkichi. Oh wait. Are you gonna fight me? Newbie Yakuza. Okay. I don't mind. I need to practice my defense anyway. Salmon of oh, get Salmon of Nigiri. All right, so the red dots are actually random encounter. So is did the club take a change? Let me check this one out. Virtua Fighter. What's this game? Fantasy Zone. There are anime girls in the back. This space area. Is that a shoot? Is that a shmup? Oh fuck, I remember space area. That's so old. It's from the Sika Master System. It was an arcade as well. You look at me, sir. What's this? Vending machine. I'll buy a drink. Peach Step, Apple Defense, Muscle Soda, Kiwami Drink. No. Is that all? Virtual Fighter 5 Final Showdown. This is the new game. Okay. Weren't there. Oh, maybe I cannot go to the uh, other floor. This is only the first floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I cannot go to the other floors yet. Because there's supposed to be uh, pachinko machines and stuff. There should be. I mean, look at this building. Like, in the inside, it's most, so small. And when you check Club Sega, it's like one, two, three, four, five story building. You'd think there are more place than that. Vending machine. Yeah, it is the office. Must be abandoned. What's that sign? Can I? It's like. This is it. <clears throat> no, they, they moved. They're gone. It's like the place is on sale. Hey, are you supposed to be here? There's a janitor. You got any idea what happened to the office that used to be here? Office. This used to be, you know, a girls' bar. Uh? What about before that? There was an office here. No, before the bar, it was a computer store. Before that, it was a maid cafe, and before that, my uh, God, a Filipino bar, I think. Eighteen years of history. Years ago, a, a family had their office here. The Arakawa family. Don't you know what I'm talking about? No. A family. No. A family, family. I. A Yakuza office, okay? Anyway, I know it was here. Uh, that 
that's too far back even for my old bones. Uh, it's only 18 years. But I'll be honest with you, I don't see how the Arakawa family could have been holed up in a dinky office like this. Oh, so you do know them? They're big now. I don't now. think there's a soul on this side of town who does it. They're a huge, famous family. They grow so big. Really? Finally, some good news. So where are they? I'm looking for them. Uh, uh not sure. In this day and age, Yakuza can't exactly be loud and proud, you know. Yeah, Especially of course. Especially not hot shots like the Arakawa boys. I get it. Okay, thanks. Think you'll find them? Yeah. Well, I'll just ask the old woman at the SIG stand where their headquarters She must be she dead. Knows what's going on. Okay, good luck. The SIG woman. Save is a wise thing to do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That gender, but it sounds like the Arakawa finally might finally made it big. Can't wait to see them now, but the problem is where'd they go? How about Sultan Bori, like the rest of the Oni family? Couldn't hurt to ask the old lady at cigarette shop, I guess. Alright, cigarette shop, where was it? In the champion district, right? No, it was a little bit before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I'm on Peak Street. Oh yeah, the bar yeah, the burger shop is still there. The the girl's not there. The woman. Where's the old woman? Oh, you mean the previous owner? <laughs> she moved back to the countryside a long time she ago. She retired. She's Probably dead. Taking it easy in an old folks' home by now. Oh. I see. Hey, do you know where the Arakawa family office is? If, if you're not making a purchase, I should help the customer behind you. I just want to know where the Arakawa office is. Hey, some of us got places to be. Give me the usual. There's a. Yes, you, is this guy's got a pin? 500 yen, please. <coughs> just put it on my tab. Wow. People sure have gotten rude since I was gone. How pathetic. You say something? Where'd you learn your manners, huh? Mom raised you in a barn? Oh, jeez. And you're walking around town wearing a Tojo badge? Oh, wait. It's Omi Alliance. No, he's Omi. No, that so guy's Omi. No. What family are you from? Me? I'm Arakawa. Oh, uh, nice to meet you, brother. Sorry I didn't know you. I'm new. Like hell you are. You're lying out here with the Omi symbols, faking like you're Arakawa. Wait, were you and that crew that visited the old chairman's grave today? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, there was a big ceremony scheduled. But only the patriarch and his officers go to stuff like that. Maybe some of their assistants, too, but that's it. Damn, you must be newer than me. Tell me one thing. Who's our patriarch right now? Dude, you living under a rock? Just... Tell me who it is. It's acting captain of the Omi Alliance, Masumi Arakawa, obviously. Shakes his head. Man, you forgot the name of your patriarch? Get your shit together. Hey, you don't order me to do anything. I'm not Omi. Oh, but you just said you were in the Arakawa family. Damn right. And that family is part of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? You sleep talking, dude? My Do God. I fucking asleep? No, you don't. You must be one of those Tojo pests still crawling around. We've got permission from HQ to exterminate them on sight. You owe me are the ones who invaded. This city is Tojo turf. Not anymore. Not anymore. I do Tojo roaches need to die already. Fighting in front of the cigarette stand. Yep. That guy is a baseball bat. Mm. Cool. I'm pretty sure I had it this time. I want to practice my guard, but they always fall after two punches. <laughs> Did our Kawasan really betray the Tojo clan and run to the Yomi? Answer me! Uh, yes! 
Haniki. Oh. That guy's a Tojo loyalist. Get him. What? Get back oh, here. Oh, come on. I wanted to fight them. I wanted to practice my perfect guard. What about my perfect guard? Oop. I give them a slip. Huh? Where did he go? Which way did he go? Oh. Hit up the other families. Don't let me out of the Camarocho. Beep, boop, boop, beep. <sighs> that was a close one. Hmm? What's this? Black Alice. You <laughs> part of here. It's the champion district. There's a site for sore eyes. Huh? Michio. Yeah, aren't you itchy? Huh? Oh, that's the drunken lady. Oh, what was your name again? The drunken lady. It's me, Michio. I used to run a bar. Hmm? Huh? Michio? It's been such a long time, Michi. Oh, man. Finally a familiar face. Ugh. You back off. Huh? You reek of smoke, Ichi. Huh? I do? Oh yeah, I guess I was just at the tobacco shop. Wait, wait, don't you smoke yourself? Eh? Get out of here, I gave up drinking and smoking ages ago. What? Moonshine Michio went cold sober? It must have been around when you went to prison. I ended up getting pretty sick. It was either quick drinking and smoking, or let him send me to an early grave. <laughs> so, I went cold turkey on both of them. Wow, you really turned it around. Sonny. I'm practically a hell nut now. No alcohol, no tobacco, no additives. And I'm eating better too. I'm trying to up my water intake too. Did you know 70% of your body is made of water? Yes, ma'am, I know they teach us that in high school. Even knowing that, most people don't drink nearly enough water. If you don't get some quality water in your... Excuse me. Um... Michio? Oh, yes, sorry. I was blabbering around like an old... Like an old bag, like an LD old bag. Here, Shabby B! Did you want to talk to Wendy old bag? Oh, wait. How come it? What happened to the Tojo clan Arakawa while I was gone? There's an auto. I don't know. Uh, why is it automatic? How do I turn it off? I don't know the first thing about it. But your bar is pretty popular with Tojo clan guys, wasn't it? Yeah. My bar is a health food cafe now. When I banned smoking and drinking, I lost all type of customer. I don't know what the Yakuza are up to, and I couldn't care less about people who don't treat their bodies like temples. <sighs> oh. But if you're so curious, why not track down Ushio? Ushio? Remember? You're senpai from middle school. Uh, oh yeah, that guy who used to sell black market porn. Oh shit, that guy? No, he's a magazine writer these days. And he fancies himself the go-to guy for coverage on the Yakuza. <laughs> really? Then that's perfect. Well, I have my doubts and he's all great. And he's all that great of journalist. He'll say he's out researching a story and... Then I'll see him slacking off by Children's Park. Thanks. Children's Park, huh? That's where I'm going then. Thanks, Michio. Swing by my cafe with your can, will ya? I've got this new spring water called Aha Divine. They say it can even cure illnesses. Aha Divine. I think I know that brand. Invite your friends too. You'll feel better. <sighs> uh, yeah, I'll put it on the list. If you like it, I can sell you some of to use at home at a discount. We even have a referral program if I register you as a friend. See ya. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, gotta run. Glad you're staying 
everything fits you around. Wait. She's got to look into one of those uh, pawn scheme. Michio sure has changed. I'm glad she's doing well, but it's kind of sad too. Well, maybe I can find Ushio at Children's Park. May as well check it out. Go to Children's Park. I gotta do something about those. Uh, where is it? The auto scrolls, game settings, battle stream, other camera. Okay, difficulty normal. Camera control normal. Camera movement speed, minimap display, minimap display orientation, fixed. No, no, please have it fixed. I don't want rotating. Uh, 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 uh. View controls. Okay, show hide party status. Reset the camera with L2. Pause menu R2 to sprint. Open inbox, take out camera. There's nothing about uh, untoggling the the auto uh, text language. No. Audio. Character profile. Oh, I can see a description of everyone we've talked to so far. Kochi Adachi. Yeah, former police officer. Kamurocho. People of Yokohama. Former Tojo clan. Okay, so that's the the uh that's the Tojo Arakawa. And they say former Tojo Arakawa, but Mitsu is still a regular Tojo. Either he's, he's full Omi Alliance. I don't know, man. Summary. Oh, summary of chapters. You control, I saw that. Okay, that's fine. Sucks, but what are you gonna do? Sprint. All right, I'm gonna practice my fighting. Capitalist Punisher. Uh. They're just salary men. Okay. This. With the bike in the way, and I hit the, with the bike for extra damage. Phoning someone desperately. Backup has arrived. Okay. Boom. Level one. Regular attack. Burnout bully has been defeated. Okay. Oh, more people. I want to fight you guys. Punkling? It's Team Punk. He's not a. Okay, he's just a regular punk. He's like, I'm steamed instead of pissed. Okay, so. Okay. Skill. Yeah, this guy. Oh no, this guy's level 1. Fuck. I wasted on, on, on the puny guy. Call for backup. Backup arrive, another level one. Okay, so I have to take care of this one. Is that guy stunned? Okay, you lose a turn. You guys don't get a turn? Okay. He's weak to punch. Okay, that guy's done. So these guys, I stop. Okay, summon. Uh, okay, I'm gonna eat. Uh, uh, just to make sure I have enough. Uh, 
how how do I eat? Items, yeah. Salmon, fifty. Oh, I'm only weak for twenty six HP. Oh, I'll take CC lemon. Oh, good, pretty good. It works. Pretty good. Okay, I'm fine. Oh. Newbie Yakuza, right? Let's see if I can do regular damage on him. Yeah. I don't even need the punch. Okay, I got a perfect guard. The bike was in the way. Boom, boom. That was nice. The power of regular attacks. Yeah. Osahake. I already fought those guys. I kicked it with the vibe, then I picked it up and fight another guy. So yeah, nobody responded. Oops. So this guy is stunned. There you go. Men's Entertainment Box. The MES? MEB. Oh no, Men's Entertainment Box. That's uh, for, for uh, adult Japanese uh, movies. Yeah, I remember this. I remember this. The New Girls. Hello, New Girls. Those aren't your real eyes. Some of those girls have their eyes are surgically uh, changed to make them look like rounder. Can I talk to this guy? No. Okay, so it's just a place to say, okay, uh, this used to be a thing. But, uh, yeah, no, not, not, not anymore. Oh, so sad. So sad. Okay. Da 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 I'm out running a car, can you believe it? Here's Children's Park. Shouting on me, Yakuza. How many times we gotta tell you? Quick hang around here. We you made a promise. Now hand it over. A camera. Hmm. Ushio. Chill out, will you? It's just a pic of you walking. You look like badass in it. It's not a matter if you look cool or not. The Omi doesn't do those press hold press thing. Huh? He shoved, it takes the camera off his hands. So back off or I'll be the one doing the snapping. Well, uh, aren't there any exceptions? They're gonna run you a million yen a shot if you really want them. Uh, that's just crazy. Oh. Is it? Is it now? Let's say goodbye, new camera. What? Wait! I'll still have money on that thing. You think I care? About to smash the camera. Guy kicks it. And uh, uh, Ichiban kicks it and salvage it. Huh? Surprise look. Hey. Why break a perfectly good camera? Huh? Who the hell are you? I gotta talk to this guy. Don't worry, I'll make sure the shots get deleted. That makes a square, right? Hmm? Aren't you Ichiban? Ichiban Kazuka? You got out? <laughs> Been a while, Ushio. Hey, isn't the Tocho clan guy? What? Red suit, scraggly hair, gotta be him. He's the one of the Akara, Arakawa family told us to look for. <laughs> if we kill him and drag him back, we'll be fucking heroes. <laughs> yeah, those pictures just got small time. <laughs> so, 
What's up? Don't go anywhere. I gotta handle those scumbags real quick. The hell was that? Get him! Oh, the Omi Alliance. This guy's got scissors. Oh. You think you're the shit because you got scissors? Well, guess what? Rock. Beat. Scissors! And he's dead. Oh, I got my perfect guard. Perfect. Get the cone. Boom, boom, boom. Taunt. Where are you going? Oh, me, a last member skips the tone around like a jackass. Guess got flared up. Think someone's beating down the Oli Alliance. Alright. So the taunt works, and I got Berserk. But it's okay, I just kill his ass. Level 5, almost uh, rank 3. I feel the stats going up. <laughs> Alright. So, oh, learn the character skill Charismatic Persuasion. Interesting, nice. So now my job is Arakawa Loyalist. Interesting, so I went from Yakuza to Arakawa Loyalist. Damn, you're strong. We're gonna remember your face, dick! I can tell you love your job, but you ought to love being alive more. Else who's gonna take care of that precious camera? He's taking so pictures again. Fight between the Omi Alliance and a Tojo clan loyalist. Oh yeah, these pics are go for a fortune. Thanks, Ichiban. He took pictures of that hey, fight. Hold up. We're gonna race after him again. Oh, bumped into a mascot. Oh no, now the now the camera broke. That looks like a, a Digimon. What the hell are you doing, man? Like the, the, the rabbit guy. with the long ears. Anyway. There's a mascot. Come on, get out of here. Mascot nods and gets the fuck out. If I see you again, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Tough words for a guy who just took off screaming. <laughs> yeah, you better run, Camelop. 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 That's the mascot the of Camarocho. Mascot they made to improve Camarocho's image. What the hell is a local mascot? Oh, I never heard of those. <sighs> We're gonna be here all day. Yeah, that was a 2010 thing. Remember the internet? It's big now. Use it. Fine. Just tell me what happened to the Arakawa family. And Arakawa-san. You were in that family once upon a time, right? Stop! You, you gotta know what happened, being a local reporter. I don't believe that Arakawa-san was a traitor. It wasn't who he was! You really want to know why Arakawa did what he did? Because I do have the scoop. I'm not a journalist for nothing. So tell me! When did you get locked up again? 18 years ago. And Arakawa had a son, right? Mm -hmm. The young master. Master to my job to escort him. <coughs> I don't know the details, but he was kind of sickly. Yeah, he was sickly. Uh, what do you mean was? Is he better now? He's dead. What? what? No. Like, how? Huh. Would have been about three years after you went into the slammer. No way. As I recall, his condition got worse. There was oh. nothing they could do. Arakawa was pretty fond of him, or so I assume. Fucking hell. Is that what turned... Being fond of him. Arakawa-san would have died for his son. Yes. Maybe the loss changed his perspective on things. Nothing worse than burying your own kid. Yeah. Yeah. I no adult should be burying their old child. But Quote from Tia Den from Lord of the Rings. Two Tojo towers. Plan. You don't. Maybe you can't understand, but once you have a child, the rest of your life is over. Yeah. The kid becomes your life's purpose, you know? Yeah. So imagine the grief you'd feel if a kid dies. You just keep existing with your life's purpose pulled out from under you. Yep. Uh. The parents gotta find another reason, any other reason, to keep living. Mm. <sighs> Couple that with the fact that Arakawa is a Yakuza. I think maybe his new reason to live became... ...watching the world burn. He wouldn't. 
Hey, why don't you give me some info now? You really in trouble with the Omi like those thugs said? Yeah. And you shouldn't just be strolling around Kamurocho. You still got business here? If not, I'd get out of town. Huh? I promise, Kasuga! There's nothing left for you in Kamurocho! But... Then where would I go? I mean... I don't know, dude. I'm just saying the Omi are looking for you. So I'd get out of town if I were you. Don't go home. Home? Shangri-La. Yeah, the soap land you were born in? That'd be your home, right? Shangri-La. The first place they're gonna look. Hey! You're not going there now, are you? Don't do it! I'm don't be an you, idiot. Kill, you. kill me. Let him try. I'm already dead inside. Ugh. Okay. Guys gotta eat. Alright, so go to Shangri-La. Oh, as soon as I got level five I got healed up again. I should have paid attention to that. Hmm. Oh. I wanna pick up a fight. Hello! Hello, newbies. Cool. Go. Yeah, nice. Too early. I gotta find the precise timing. Salmon on the giri again. I don't get a lot of money out of them. At some point, it's not gonna be worth it fighting those guys for money. Hello! I fought you guys already. Oh, you have different levels now. There is magic persuasion. I tend to brainwash the enemy. If successful, the enemy will drop an item and flee. As good a chance of success as gas gas can is going to improve. Okay. So I'm gonna use this on this guy first. Boom. A bit too late. Oh, I'm bleeding now. Oh shit. Mm -mm -mm. Attack this guy. Yeah. Still bleeding out. Okay, I'm gonna try charismatic persuasion. What's he gonna do? Focus the enemy. Miss. Oh, press the wrong button. Hold it together. Um, item. Gaze. A stringent gauze. There you go. No more bleeding. Miss. There you go. Almost rank 3. Yeah, I'm still in the right direction because that, of that stupid building over there. I have to go around, stupid sushi zanmai shop. With a big fat ass at the front door welcoming us. Oh, wait. I'm gonna fight you guys, I'm gonna eat some sushi. Yeah. 
Call for backup. Backup is arrived, okay. Nice, both times. Punkling, call for backup. Backup arrive, okay. Yeah, those are weak. Weak to punch. Damn, bike. Who grabbed the bike? Two summon only Giri. Almost rank three. Okay. As promised. I need some sushi. Um. So, sir. Welcome. Welcome. Select from the menu. All right. So, special tuna ball. Fatty tuna. Lots of fatty tuna. Seafood shirashi bowl. The uh, ample amount. Serve miso soup. Sushi's on my 13 piece of nigiri. Oh, that's a big piece of. Tuna's on mine with otoro, shutoro, akami, minced tuna, tuna rolls, and seared tuna with miso soup. And kokoreiki, 12 piece nigiri with tuna roll with large bowl of miso soup. This is so big for me. I can't afford this one, but I only need, like, this is for high level. Like, I only need, um,. Like my, my maximum HP is 157, this eel like 600, 800, 900, 1000, and the MP is 500, 750, it's like, this is for a uh, high level healing place. I'm gonna come back here when, uh, So I have to go around this place. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Vending machine, I'll buy a drink. Peach step. Apple defense. Oh wait, those boost evasion, boost defense, boost attack. More experience from the battle. If drank during combat. 3,000 yen? Fuck that. I thought you had some CC lemon or something. Okay, no CC lemon I guess. Thai haze over there. Oh shit, what happened to the place? That they're in ruins. You know something about this? You look like you know something. Why are you st standing here? Get out. Shoot. Yeah. The the plaster is being it's removed. Trashed. Never thought I'd outlive Shane. Yeah, he outlived Shangri-La. So, is this the last stop on your tour of Kamarocho? Hello, Adachi. Uh, well, I knew you'd end up here eventually. You again. For real. Unbelievable, isn't it? A neon bright paradise like Kamarocho, and here's this dark, rotting husk. What happened here? Do you know? Time after the Dojo clan civil war. Some moron drove a dump truck through the place. Yeah, that was Majima. He's come near it ever since. And now it's a den for low lives and thugs. Aww. Real messed up dudes living there now. I see. I guess I never realized just how long 18 years really is. That's not the Kamarocho you remember. I know that must be shitty. Did you see what they built on Nakamichi Street? What? The new Kamuro police station. Mm. Just one more set of prying eyes watching everything. I saw that. It was supposed to be a Donkey Chi. Yeah. Without the Tojo clan throwing no. their bribes and threats around, 
station finally got built. Mm. That's why everybody loves our go-getter of a governor. Fuck Tom you. Rowe police station is just one of his legacies. <laughs> well, that shit doesn't matter to me anymore. Kasuga, I've been nothing but honest with you. I tried to tell you before. The Tojo clan you know is gone. The Omi Alliance from Kansai invaded and won. They rule this city now. So, do you believe me now? Yes. Then we're making good time. Well, you came around faster than I thought. Huh? I knew you were the kind of guy who has to see shit for himself and everyone else be damned. So, I had to let you walk around Kamurocho until it all clicked for you. You got there quick. What are you doing? Trying to guess everything I do? Making fun of me along the way? Well, I didn't guess everything. I just knew you'd come here. <sighs> Look, man, once and for all, what the hell do you really want? I want you to help me with my investigation. He told you already. Arakawa, your former boss. Used the police to crush the Tojo clan. Mm -hmm. Then he gave Kamurocho to the Omi Alliance on a silver platter. Yeah. You and I both know you can't buy out the police with just Yakuza pocket change. Yeah, no, you cannot buy it with so money. Did, some of that money went directly to Juro Horinouchi, the police commissioner. The police commissioner? Yeah. Then I got a bone to pick with that guy. I'd love to see the son of a bitch fired. Of course, I'm just a driver's ed teacher now, so I don't have a lot of chances to get at him. Mm. But one chance I do have is if I go through Masumi Arakawa. And you figure I can help you get to Arakawa-san, is that it? Congrats, you solved the puzzle. I don't think that's gonna I work. I would be game because, come on, aren't you dying to know why he turned traitor? But if you don't agree, why don't you tell me? What are you gonna do now? Hmm? I want to see Arakawa-san. It's all I thought about in prison. I just want to see him. Talk to him. Well, for your information, tonight Arakawa is bringing some Omi officers to a big meeting. Local patriarchs. Really? Not true? Oh, yeah. And we're not talking about a sweet little tea party. No, it's gonna be a show of arms. But Arakawa? It's a critical moment. He needs to show his dominance. How do you know all this? I still have my connections from when I was a detective. Had to grease some hands, of course. Mm -hmm. Go figure. Well, where's this meeting gonna be? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. The Yokohama? No, it's still Camarocho. The theater district? There's a Camuplop. Club Sega, the Kyakuza Take the police. That restaurant over there. Heian Tower. Heian. Oh, that's... Um, oh, have you been there? It's a pretty classy joint. Expensive as hell, though. No, I haven't gone. It's just... Arakawa-san once promised to take me there. Oh, to eat Peking duck. Peking duck. Wait, <clears throat> I get it. This is Arakawa-san trying to contact me. No, 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 no. You're way over your head. What are you saying? It can't be a coincidence that the meeting is going down there. At a place that meant something to me and him. Of course it could be a coincidence. Come back down to Earth, kid. There aren't many classy restaurants around here. Period. Stands to reason he picked one of the only ones. Yeah, there's only like two or three. Screw you. It doesn't even matter. What's important is I can finally talk to him. Okay. First He's of not all, gonna the give meeting you a isn't proper tonight. response. And on top of that, the Omi know you're a Tojo loyalist. Yeah. If they catch you, then you'll have zero chance of talking to Arakawa. Mm. Now, luckily, I have a plan for sneaking in. Unless you wanted to bust through the front door like an idiot. Okay, what kind of plan? That's a surprise I'll save for later. Later? What, we're just gonna wait here till they show up? No, I'm sure you have shit to do, just like me. Let's split up and meet back here tonight. 
Here, take this with you. What is this? A cell phone. A smartphone. I assume you've seen one before? No. No. How do you use it? There's no button. Why do they make phones so damn complicated? It's touchstone. A smartphone. Close. You'll figure it out. Just make sure to pick up when I call you. Whatever. New to the pause menu, smartphone. You can now select smartphone from the pause menu. This will allow you to check your mail, take pictures, and call a taxi. More smartphone functions will be added as you progress through the story. No! I want more all the options now. I got the smartphone now. I should be able to access everything now. Okay, so remember, we're meeting in this part of Theater Square tonight. Till then, keep a low profile, will you? Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a little uh, 16 bit uh, uh, Kazuga on the bottom. Okay, so this is nighttime. It's finally night. Better go meet Adachi once I'm ready. Oh, so now I can fuck around. Hmm. Should I save this for another night? Or another day. I want to play this in the afternoon so that way I can go 